What's good, y'all? Welcome back to the Ball Don't Lie podcast. Happy, what is it, Tuesday? Tuesday, I think Tuesday it's Tuesday. You guys, how you guys feeling? What's going on with y'all? <laughs> we chilling, we chilling. We out here. You don't understand. Watching NBA. Giving us. All right. What do you guys want to get into first? Anybody want to talk about something? Or should I hop into the topics I got for us? You guys? I have one, one thing I want to talk about. Go ahead. Uh, how do you guys feel about the Warriors and Memphis Grizzlies rivalry? Is that the biggest rivalry in the NBA today? Or No, no, no. You know? No, <laughs> not a rivalry. Like You don't think it's a rivalry? Maybe it's developing, but it's too early to call it a rivalry. They, I mean, they've hyped it up like on Twitter. The Dylan Brooks like taunting. Jaron Jackson calling him like Clay calling him weak and stuff like that. So I think it has the potential. They ha they have to meet each other in the playoffs. I think more than once. Trey, Trey versus the Knicks. Better one. <laughs> I think this rivalry is like just like they're trying to force it too much. The Grizzlies are trying to force a rivalry. Yes, I get it. They they have like I guess supposed to beef with each other, but the way Omari said, yeah, that all of like New York hates Trey Young. Uh, Seems this is, more real this to me. Been built up since when Curry lost a few years back. Yeah, when they bumped him out of the play in. But that, yeah. that, that, I don't think people give that much, give that one too much because that's where it started. Curry was uh, playing with like nobody that time. Yeah. And then it was like a full healthy. I would call team. it like a developing one, but yeah, it's, it's, developing. it's definitely not the biggest one right now. Yeah. I would argue like Suns, Pelicans might be getting mm. up there because they're a little more malicious with it. Like, I think. The Grizzlies just kind of get on social media after the game and talk. And I don't know if I count that as legit. Though. Yeah, as, like, as a team. Pelicans, and I'm talking about like the way that they set up the beef. Mm, I don't know. Maybe it's just because I hate the Suns and I, <laughs> I, I get more enjoyment out of seeing them lose. But Everybody does. Everybody uh, hates the Suns. Seems to be hating. Huh? That I'm a Suns fan here. Oh, God. Support the Suns. Oh, you know, the comments down below. What I'm, trying to, like I'm trying to think of other teams, but. Yeah, um, that's what I'm saying. There's not too many these days. Yeah, rivalries kind of died out, huh? Kind did. of. It, it, the mid 2010s it was okay. Early 2000s it was there. 90s, of course. Uh, the, best, the last best one is Curry. Curry. That I don't. <laughs> even that the Celtics. Really even though. the Celtics like, Lakers it, rivalry is not even there anymore. Like there's just the, the Celtics and like the Heat ones. Like the one, the last one I've seen that's still like everlasting. That, but they those, still hate each other. But the other. whole 20, like the whole 2010s, it was literally just LeBron versus Curry. Like. Yeah, but they had respect for each other. They never said anything like disrespect. That was a rivalry. Yeah. No, that's, that's a rivalry. rivalry. I can't say it's talking about like one with with beef. It doesn't have. I mean, a rivalry doesn't got to be yeah, a beef. I mean, it, it makes it better if there is. <laughs> I, it can make it spicy. It can like, make it spicy. Rivalry is when you guys have like mutual respect, like yeah, and you just keep playing. You guys just like play hard against each yeah, other. Yeah, I, like, I get what you mean, but like, but, like aren't you? It's I got more entertaining. I got, the best, I got the best one actually. I was thinking about a Ben Simmons versus showing up to work. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good rivalry. That's a good rivalry. Hey, yeah, he's clocked in enough games. <laughs> so, Kyrie, the Kyrie, now, I game winning streak. Kyrie versus good PR. Shout out to the Nets. That's kind of crazy. Harry versus staying healthy. Hey, TJ Warren been nice for them late, lately. Low key. They TJ Warren dropped like nice a 23 pieces. and 8 today. That was he's pretty good. He's a good, good player. Honestly, he is. I mean, he's been good for them. They've got shooters. Bubble Kobe. Huh? That's Bubble Kobe right there. <laughs> That's true, though. That's true, though. Bubble Warrior. <laughs> yeah, they, they have a solid, a solid um, team. But I, I wonder when they get into the playoffs who they versus. Talking with about Brooklyn? Nets? Yeah. The Nets look really good right now. They look, they they're on like a crazy like ten of eleven or something like that. They won again today against the Cavs. While Darius Garland dropped like forty six points, KD another thirty point like like. How many teams can they actually be in the in the playoffs though? Thinking the Nets, I think it could be anybody. They Maybe could be not any the, the the Celtics or Bucks, but I think the other teams below the them. Philly's doing good too right now. Eight game one streak. Yeah, they are. But I just I don't. I, the coaching scares me for the like I'm uh, not Doc a Doc Rivers stuff. fan. Mm -hmm. I don't like the rotations he does. Like sometimes he has Montres Harrell out there too long. They don't even really have a reliable big outside of Embiid. I like, mean, but when playoffs comes, like Embiid's gonna sit what five minutes, seven minutes. He's gonna play thirty five, thirty uh, eight minutes, forty minutes a game. I yeah. think that shit might matter though when it comes to the end of the game. It will if matter. he's not if he has no stamina, like they're gonna mm -hmm. lean on him, especially in the playoffs. And if he can't everybody though, so but he's a big though. He requires a lot more energy as opposed to some somebody like Curry, who like, you know, Giannis like. But Curry runs around though. Curry, he Curry gets tired and he shows up. And you're that guy, you'll show up. I just don't know moment. if Embiid is that that, guy. that Giannis Ooh. level of drive. No, no, not talent. Just drive. Like I know Giannis has that level of drive because I can see the way he improved every year. Like Joel is just naturally gifted, and yeah, obviously he improves, he's improved. Yeah. Obviously, I'm not saying he didn't improve, <laughs> but it's averaging those points in the NBA. Yeah, 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 no, yeah, no doubt he didn't improve. But sometimes I see him take plays off as opposed to Giannis. I don't see him take any playoff. Like I, I mean, well, he'll give plays to Middleton, and uh, I guess 
Harden is beads Middleton, but a better version of him. That's not like, what I mean, though. I don't mean give him more energy. I'm saying that's going to give him more energy to save or save take the load off game. a little bit. Take yeah, the load off a little bit for him. You know, thing, let him be do his thing. For me, though, it's like playoffs. Every possession is more intense. It matters more. Every game matters more. Like people are more locked in because you can mail it in and still score twenty in the NBA. Like if you're a star player, yeah, you don't have yeah. Playoffs. In the playoffs, like people, the other team is literally game planning around to stop you. You know, it's not like you come in on a Sunday off a of back to back, and the Pistons are just like let's run a two three zone I mean, against these fools. It's still pretty hard to game plan against the Sixers fully healthy with Maxi coming back too. Mm. I'm gonna say, gonna be yeah, Maxi a problem. Milton is good off the that, bench. It's good that Embiid like has Milton people. showing up. You know, yeah, they have a good rotation. George Sneings, a good three point shooter. Like you can play him in the playoffs for a stretch. They yeah. also have Tobias Harris just chilling. Whatever, if, if he can make any big plays, they should like, trade his ass. Chilling, it could. Uh, I think they should keep him. He's good for what he does, like his role right now. They got their defensive. Uh, what's his name? He's uh, better than his role right now. Bible. Yeah, but they have to put him in that role, and he's, he's, he's doing selling, good. So. I think they should. I think they should trade him for somebody that could do that role better. I think they, they could do it. Like, what do you I think mean, they need? Forgot they have PJ on that team too. Uh, PJ does that role. He, <laughs> yeah, Mister Mister Donut. <laughs> can in the corner yeah. and play defense type of thing. I mean, now that you said PJ, like. Uh, I, yeah, I think Harrison that's... Barnes maybe plus somebody else from the Kings would be a better deal for them. I think he could shoot threes better. He's a better perimeter defender. Yeah, you have least. to like build up that chemistry again. With Tobias, you already have that. That is true, but yeah. I don't. I don't know. I feel like Harrison Barnes is a guy that could kind of fit in anywhere. Yeah, I guess like a less good version of OG. But there's no reason I mean? for them to trade because they don't need any more depth. They already do right now. <laughs> Maine. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I just wanted to bring that up. Talk about the other thing. Clay Thompson says he will make All Star team again and plans yeah, to yeah. shoot for All Star MVP. That's a good goal. He should hey, be yeah. having that. For who's, who's, who's gonna Who's gonna tell him, guys? Who's gonna tell him not this year? What do you mean? No, not this no, year. Obviously. Next year. I don't think he'll ever make year. it. I think he's making it back there. Nah, he's I not gonna make it back there. I think he'll make it back next year. I, I don't. Think I will. I would put all my money that he would not be an All Star. We can bet on that. You know how much talent there is in the league right now, and for just a straight shooter to go back into the All Star game. Huh. Depends on where the Warriors are in the standings. I still don't think. Still even don't if, think so. I think I would think still... Wiggins makes it over him again before he makes it. Wiggins could have a significant we'll jump. Well, I mean, they, more than Clay can. They can have three players. I, I think they can have three players next year, depending on how. There's where so much talent is. in the league. Hustle. You know you why Clay won't make it? Well, let me I'll, speak I'll, first. Okay, let me give a ahead, reason. I think they can. There's either they have two ways to do this. They either develop their young talent and they're really good, like, or they get better than they are previous years, or they trade their picks and the young players that they have now for veterans, like. Pascal Siakam, something like that, and they have a higher seating next year. And plays going to be a big reason as to why they went in playoffs or put them in the All Star game, just like they did with you remember the Al Horf when Al Horford, Kyle Korver made it, Jeff Teague, and even when they had Kevin Durant as an, on the Warriors, him, Kevin Durant, <laughs> Draymond Green, and Steph all made it. Like there's possibilities. It doesn't talent doesn't really give you All Star like security winning. Gives you more of a chance. I think you're talking about like what you just said. The example is used. You yeah. use like the best regular season records in, in that time, because I think that Atlanta Hawks was like the best regular season team in the league. The Warriors that you just mentioned that year that it made four four All Stars or something that were the best seeded team in the league. You like, don't think they can make it back to that level? The best seeded like uh, team in the league? No, I don't think so. Why? They were because they got, second seed like, they, were... they got people like the Suns. They got people like the Nuggets out there. Like, hey, but what's the difference from last year? Last year they're the what, the second seed. They're the second seed last year before uh, All Star break. Okay, but now Nuggets have Murray back, MPJ back, so consistently Devin Booker I still and the don't Suns see them as are a better just... team though. Uh, yeah. Even for regular season. Not, 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 not. Yeah. Well, I'm I talking even, about. I'm talking no, about next even year. when they're fully. Healthy. I'm talking about for next year, like yeah. when when next year pulls up. I still, I'll still take the Warriors. Take the word the Warriors. Depending on the roster, yeah. Like if they, if they're core. Right now there, they don't have any good defense. By the way, you know that. They right can, they right now they have no good the defenders. Point. Yeah, because they're so young. Uh, Wiseman's getting better though. Let me. Uh, yeah, let me yeah. Not stock, I, I, let me he look, 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 no, no, we're not. We're not praising a duel for scoring six points in an NBA game. Like he dropped thirty. He dropped thirty efficiently. But but like that was that was when everyone was out. Now we're putting excuses. Didn't they get blown out? Didn't they get blown out? They did get blown up, but 30 in the NBA game so is still you're, 30 you're, points. You're telling Can you drop 30 me, points? You can't drop 30 points in a rec league game. I'm not, I'm not praising him for scoring why? 30. I have to see more. I have to see him do it when they're winning games with the whole team back. Like, 
You you drop it hard. thirty. He still has the talent. I'm talking about the talent factor. I mean, okay, may, maybe maybe that's good to show other teams or like even maybe the Warriors that he has something yeah, left. Yeah, but he has some, he's not going to flourish on and this team. Anybody could drop thirty I on any given night. I think he just it's needs clear, games played. He needs a change of scenery, bro. It's it's done. So. He I, he's done. Are you going to say a change of scenery? It's been what two years? <laughs> this is the full year. He needs to leave. He needs and he's getting sent to the G League repeatedly. Okay, Jordan Poole got sent to the G League. It what took you him to one. Him it, that time? it took him one year to get better. It's yeah, taken three years for Wiseman to, to get not years, sent to the G League. He's only played. He hasn't played over eighty games, bro. Like it hasn't been three years. The, the Warrior system doesn't even allow him to do the things that he does best. Like he, he needs post touches. Yeah. They don't do that. But he's they not good at the post either. He's yes, his, he's seven one. If he's, he's not good, <laughs> if he's not good at post like touches, then he sucks at basketball. That's his best aspect of his game. All he has to do is set screens, pick and roll, like. No, Drop, that's not his game, though. He's he good in the threes, too. Like, I think he's trying to make Wiseman like game. Looney. He's trying to make Wiseman no, like No, he's not even trying to make him Looney. He's trying to make him Miles Turner. Like, he's not He's he's not going to... Like, he, okay, he can set you screens and roll. That's about the only thing that'll work in the Warriors' offense. He's Passing a, the ball, too. And then he can he's, not a, and he's not a passer. He's not good at passing the ball. He's only played 56 any, games any, in his any, career. How are you going to tell me to blow it up after 56 games? I'm not saying blow it up. I said trade Wiseman. Yeah, blow him up. That's what I meant. Yeah. <laughs> blow he not. He doesn't fit the system, bro. He's the, the Warriors have never. You can't say that after a 56, bro, I, yes, 56 I can. game sample size. I don't need a 56 game sample size. How many games do you size. need then? I, need, I already seen the, the eight years or whatever the Warriors have been together. They've never even had a center that required post touch. That's the reason. Had a good center, bro. They, Andrew Bogut was their best center, and he was ass. Listen, they, yeah, because they didn't work they for them. Listen, their center. offense is revolved not in the post. That's what he's trying to tell you. It's revolved around the shooting. Yeah, but you, he you, need you the should post be to put succeed. in. You should be put in criminal prison if you're giving Wiseman post touches instead of getting Curry shots. Like that's no, a if stupid he has one. Okay. That's like obviously you're not taking away Steph, Steph shots. That's not going to happen. Also, it's the easier. way that they they want to just incorporate him in the offense to float to float easier and do what Looney does but at a higher rate. You can throw him lobs. You can jump out the, the but gym. But why? He can be a, a potential defensive player of the year candidate too. No, he can't. First, I don't oh think so. I haven't seen. We're it. gonna get back to this, man. I haven't seen that at all. I haven't seen any defensive prowess from him. First of all, I'm sorry, I don't think you haven't you haven't seen. DPOI. Okay, huh? I don't think he would be. A, I said potential. That, that, in the no, future, what does he seen from him to make him think that? Like that doesn't make any sense. His length, the way <laughs> I, the the his arms are, I get the offense. Explain, he's big. He's physical. I can't explain. Right. Have you seen that? the way he's built? Do you know how long his arms are? The way he can like um, the think, way he move, he walks. I mean, he can anyone. <laughs> he can, can take over the say, court. Like you can say anyone can improve. I think you're. I think yeah. That's how big he is. I think you're biased here. I think you're super biased. I'm not, dude. You can't he, tell me that he's bad after 56 games. I'm not saying he's bad. I'm saying he doesn't fit what the Warriors do. So what does? Does? What, what what's the Warriors do? How do you not see what does? What is the point? What is the point of... He just has to play more games. What is the point of giving this guy post touches on a system that revolves How around spacing and shooting game? three? You're acting like he's freaking DeMarcus Cousins Bro, in the post That's or the point I'm telling you. He doesn't get enough post touches so because... Do you think he's a post player? He is a post player. Oh my goodness. He's a seven. Have you seen any he of his college or high school in highlights? Post and midi, what, like right what, in the key. What, five games that he played. But what else am I supposed to go player? off? Okay, but that's not what he 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 doesn't have to do that in the system. I've yes, seen him he, shoot threes. Okay, so you're gonna I've seen him get lobs. Most of his things are put back and, and lobs. Most what, of his what you're telling me is like you're you're trying to get. It's like molding PJ Tucker to be a ball handler. It it just doesn't work. Like why are you Ow. trying to what? Why are you trying to force him to be somebody? He's How are you gonna not? compare? PJ Tucker ball handling to throwing logs. It's not that. It's the it's the whole idea of trying to make him do a job that he's not even that's not his strength. So he can't get lobs. That's what you're saying. Okay, I told you the pick and roll and lobs is about the only thing that works. But okay, and sending he's not a player handoffs. that fits in the system. Handoffs. Why would you why would you change your whole offensive system to fit this guy as opposed you're to not, you're not doing that as though. opposed to getting players that fit your system? They sure got Lamelo because he can fit the system. No, he can't. I don't think if he, he can cannot. He, he cannot fit the system. All right, we'll see. Yeah, I, I, I don't can't need, tell me that after well, a 56 game sample size. See what? We'll see after some time after he's played some games. And the and not in the NBA with the Warriors. When we'll do you realistically he think he's gonna get good, like solid playing time? May, Next, like when well, he's getting, he's not playing this year. He's not gonna play this year in the on playoffs. Another team. You don't know that. Why would he play in the playoffs? For Kevin Looney's minutes, he can substitute for. Why Kevin would Looney. why Looney's they, been excellent they, for them? They, they, Looney's been like all, perfect for them that, in the playoffs. Okay, that, did he play forty minutes. Does Looney? They no, can no, go, no, no, They can go small too. They, they play. They'll, they'll they play, play Looney twenty minutes and then put Draymond at the five the other time. There's no reason to have Wiseman soak up the for twenty five, minutes that minutes. Looney plays. You just want to develop him. You don't. He doesn't have to be a star right away. All development. He's, you can take some I, time. I think we know he's not going to be a star at this. Dude, point. you can't tell me that after fifty six games. You, you yes, I can. Second, you, gonna, you can't. How are you going to? So when you saw Jordan Poole play fifty six games and he was terrible, he was a second round pick. 
Okay, not a still, number two pick. Okay, so you should have more. You should have more uh, expectation. You expectations. It's You're a logic. You, have more, you should have more hope for a Wiseman since he's the second pick. You can't just already call him a bust because okay, of how he's playing. The thing with he Jordan, a, no, no, it's no, different. When he it's got different. drafted, we knew he only played like seven games, bro. Like we know, we know what it was. So the expectations were like well, they needed. Yeah, because it's not even that right? game because of his potential, right? Dude, they drafted him second. They needed this man to play like a first. Because of what? Why did they draft him second? Because they thought he would do. I don't know what the Warriors were thinking okay, when they drafted no, him. I, Look, okay. what has to mean. Like they wouldn't have drafted somebody who just doesn't play like blatantly. They, they, good. they know what they, not they know what they're not, getting from him, yeah, and they know like, how they can fit him into bro, the system. I'm not, I'm not saying gonna, this, has it worked. Has it worked? Have they fit, have they, how many games have they played in the? You're not. You're not. Fifty six games in two years. You're too biased with this, bro. I'm not. I'm not saying he's a bad player that he he can't fit in in an NBA court. Like he can't have a role on a team. But for the Warriors specifically, he does not work for what they do. I think so. We'll just have to wait. And We've see. been on this too long about, about the wise discussion. Like even <laughs> okay, let, uh, no, let's even check this. How like you say he could shoot threes? How good? Thirty-two the career. So he he sh he's made. He's one for two for his career. How, what do you mean he, he could shoot made threes? Two threes in his no, career. He's thirty-two. That's, from that's his recent games. How many threes has he even shot? He he barely takes threes. L I want to see his attempts because there's there's no way he's so shooting that many threes. All here. This is all going to be recent games. I want to see threes. Have to see. I'm not going to change your mind. I mean, yeah. I'm gonna check it. Yeah, I know you're you're telling me that Jordan Poole is a, uh, not a good player. He shouldn't be in the league, and then now he's a. He did a crazy 180 though. He, there's he, two he things. No, no. There's two. It's different things with Jordan. Wiseman can't do that. This season, yeah. <laughs> yeah, he had one shot from three this season. Talk about last season too. <laughs> Let me type. He has the ability total. to make threes. I don't. Th it's not consistently. Out of 50 well, he hasn't really shot as much. Where's his uh, three? He's he's hit, he sh attempted th two threes this year and hit one. Games. That's not enough. In, yeah, in seventeen games. It's not enough volume. His career was thirty-two percent for fifty-six he games. Thirty-two percent. He, he he shoots less saying, threes than Draymond. I'm like. saying <laughs> give him time. If he doesn't improve within a year, I'll probably agree with you. So but you have to give him time the to see. The rest of the year or a year okay. from now, you're saying? Uh, we'll come back to this in a year okay. and I'll be right. Like I I already know it's not right. that hard. He's gonna need to be on another team. He can't function on that team. Now, if they're, they're going to trade him, they're going to trade him for like veteran presence. Was he healthy during the playoffs? Was he healthy during the playoffs? Was he healthy during the playoffs? No, during he the wasn't. playoffs? No, no, no. He wasn't? He got hurt. Um, no, he didn't play all year last year. Yeah, he, okay. And right. the thing with Jordan Poole is different because his struggle was like he was shooting 20% from the field. I think that's a fixable thing. I don't understand thing. the system. The system is hard to understand. Yeah, but I'm, but I'm saying that... Like, Kaminga doesn't really fit in the system too, does he? But... He's getting his after but you learn he's the shown system, flashes. I, mean, I, mean, I haven't seen, seen any flashes? flashes from Wiseman. I've seen, he had some good not in, games not the on the Warriors. Game one, he had a, uh, a decent game. Yes, when, when everyone's out and he's the center point of the no, offense, I see flashes. He played against the Lakers game one, the regular season. He, he had a like decent game. Points? Yeah, that's decent. Who is he going? Who who is he going against? Who's our center? I don't even know who the fuck was starting that center. Davis at five that time. I don't even know. Could I have no idea? You could check. But was decent for him? Twelve points. That's number two pick. Okay, you're putting way too much expectation on him. He hasn't played a lot of Look games. Look at LaMelo's one. LaMelo's is a oh, like a superstar franchise player. We know who LaMelo is. I'm not going to compare James Wiseman to No, but why LaMelo not? He got, drafted <laughs> at, he got drafted ahead of him. He got drafted ahead of him. Yeah, but there's reasons why he got drafted. We need a center. If he, okay, so if LaMelo was on, on the Warriors, team. would he be as good as he is right now? I think so. Dude, That's I want cap. LaMelo to be on the Warriors. Much. He'd be on the bench. He'd be like Jordan Poole is on the bench right now. You know, he fits in that offense, right? He fits in that offense very well. Warriors offense? Yeah, LaMelo could fit in that offense. LaMelo perfectly. Oh, my God. You know how much you're tripping Hustle, you know how much Oh my God. He's got tripping. You you me. Me. Okay, but you, you say a point and then talk, I can't even talk. 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 Jesus Christ. Lamella li literally dribbles the ball every single possession. He's like a mini Luka Doncic. He has a high usage rate, does he not? And you're going to tell me that's how the Warriors play basketball? Stephen Curry doesn't even dribble the ball that much. You're, can, you're, I, can I talk first now? First of all. Yes, go ahead, speak. Gabe. I mean, okay. I don't know what he's talking about. You, oh, act, like, you act like Lamello. You act like Lamello being drafted to that team. Like he's gonna do what he's doing right now on the Hornets because he has to do that on the Hornets. He's like their best player, right? So Lamella he's not gonna be the best player on the Warriors. Pretty much only point. He's the only point. Okay, so Lamelo can okay, uh, run I off. I can't talk. I can't talk. Okay, that's what I, I thought you finished your point, didn't you? No, I was still talking. Okay, I'm going. saying he's not gonna be the best player on the Warriors. Okay, therefore he's not gonna do spam dribble what you think he does and be the main point. He's like he's he's gonna do good though because he knows how to shoot. He knows how to pass. He has IQ. Like like he fits on that team, Hassan. So he's good he, off ball. ball Lamelo is a good off ball player. He, oh my God! Yeah, he has high IQ. Bro, when have you seen Lamelo play off ball? He's he's a literal point guard. Okay, no, Would he even start on the team. No. Well, Clay, uh, you're gonna tell depends me depends on, on what you want to use it for. Depends on what you want to use it for. Who's he's gonna a... start for? Wiggins. I don't know. It would have been a different path. He could not, start. He, he could start, though. Move. Depends on what he you want to do no, with him, though. He could start at the two. Yeah. He's big enough. He, he could start, start at the start two. over Clay Thompson. I wouldn't, I, the only reason I would say no is because the respect Clay gets, but he's a better player than yeah, Clay Thompson. Yeah, he's better than Clay. He he's should way start better than Clay. over Clay. 
He's way if, better than Clay right now. Obviously, but he doesn't okay. play defense. So, so if that, someone's way better than someone, why, there's a reason why you play play Clay over Jordan Poole right now. Isn't Poole's better than Clay right now? Is I think not? the yeah. I think Jordan's okay, offense but you off play the bench because he plays he plays defense. That's the sole reason. Is Clay Clay Thompson a better Lame- defender Lame- than Lamelo Ball? And he'll play. Lamelo's a better defender than Poole though. Yeah. Yeah, but he's uh, what's called Clay's a better shooter than Lamelo. Okay. So you use him to play defense and shoot threes. Okay, now going that back to that. That helps your offense win games. No, that's a good point. So now going back to that, he fits the Warriors system better. You're saying Clay Thompson, yes, right? So Lamello. why the fuck would they start ever and give minutes to James Wiseman? Because when he doesn't fit their to, system. You don't need a center. center. What? Well, the Warriors you have need proven. A center in basketball. They had, they've won four championships without a center. Why would they need one all of a sudden? Because you can always they look have to Bogus, Zaza, everyone handing centers. Looney does. Suck. Looney does enough of a good job. Like he he does a good enough job defending Jokic and you these other big men. You can always be better on a team. The weakest point on the Warriors is the center. If you can get a center, I don't that's agree with that. As, I don't agree that that's the their weakest, weakest point. The weakest their bench point? is their weakest point. Right Besides now, Jordan Poole, they have nobody coming off the bench. I mean. Right now, it's just because they're young. But they need I good defensive wings. I think they lost defense. Like this Mooney and Kuminga from a, from a starting five standpoint. Bro, starting five is not the whole fucking the reason, team. That's the reason well, that's they drafted wise. Your starting five is end the game. Your starting five, the starting five is completely fine. I have no issues five. with their starting five. You can get better at with their starting five. Their starting five is one of the top ten. Their weakest lineups in the center at the starting five is my point. That's all I'm talking about. They drafted Wiseman for a reason, though. They drafted. That's why they drafted him. They tried it, but it didn't work. Like it's okay. How are you gonna say it didn't work after fifty six games, Amari? I see what I'm saying. What? Like he hasn't. He really hasn't got that much run. Like, oh, do you guys know though? But let me say this. Them? He but doesn't shoot threes very well. Best, best, best. best. Know, people like development matters a lot in the NBA. When you can't get consistent development, like you're not gonna be not exactly man. He's not like, in a system to me, develop for his game. Let me say this. Wrong wrong, like, he's still getting minutes. No, no, wait, 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 though, wait though. Like, About Wiseman, he's still getting minutes. He's still getting time. Like, yeah, like during the regular. Obviously, they're not gonna play him deep into the playoffs if he doesn't improve. Did Wiseman contribute anything in the playoff run though? He didn't no, even play. What are you okay. talking about? He, they won without Wiseman, though. Right, right. They won without hurt. him. But no, no, no. I'm saying they won a trip without Wiseman. So what? What you're? Okay, anth- so what teams you're, can't get better. No, I'm saying what you're thinking. Of Wiseman is he's not even like an answer when they won without him already. The teams can't get better from winning. Like I'm not saying. I'm saying the Warriors. Yeah, the Warriors yeah, won yeah, without Wiseman. So did they even need it? They didn't right, even need so saying they can. Uh, uh, they a didn't championship even team can keep the same roster and win again next year. That's what you're telling me. They can. Anything could happen, though. They what? can, but anything could happen. They can. Oh, my goodness. You see the well, Lakers tried to change it and ludicrous. lost, so I ain't finna say they can't. Warriors They're won trying pretty, to get better. They made Warriors, the right trade. That's Warriors the right, pretty right much won three do. straight with the same team. They replaced a few bench players. Like, well, they had Kevin Durant, so it's kind of different. <laughs> two people. But I'm saying you can win with the same roster. The thing is, I'm not saying that. Try, I'm saying is, I'm not saying don't try to develop Wiseman and give up on him. That's not what I'm saying. I'm you're just saying he doesn't fit in the system. Yeah, I'm saying he's but, he's well, never going to reach his max potential with the Warriors. That's all okay, I'm saying. Yeah, I agree but on that they, too. They probably Kaminga won't reach his max potential on the Warriors. I think he could. Though, won't reach. No, he wouldn't because, because he'd have to. No, they want to play that's, him as, that's as like Draymond. Shit. That's okay, horseshit. Why, why? Because Wiggins literally went to a situation to the Warriors where he got less opportunities okay, he, and became better. So yeah, I don't believe that that's the case. That he plays better at his role, but was the stats better in Minnesota or were they better in the Warriors? Probably the Warriors. No, in he Minnesota. shot more efficiently. Minnesota, the only thing he's going to say like, is he averaged over his, twenty points. His actual he numbers. He only averaged over yeah, twenty he, points. Yeah, he, like but that's it. That's it. But that's better numbers. That's better numbers. Efficiency. You're going to have that's better numbers. Taking Warriors Wiggins efficiency off less less shots. But because they're better shots. <laughs> I'm taking, yeah, I'm taking Warriors shots, but like if his numbers overall are better, I don't care that he averaged 20 points, shooting 38 percent from the you. field. That's, that's, that's horseshit, bro. That's the, that's the same he had reason. Higher usage too, like his, his numbers are. Dude, he better. had Cat Graham, Zach Levine. What Devontae you Graham usage? averaged 15 points, shooting 31 percent from the man, field. Like it, it shit doesn't matter. 24, 23, four. And two, yeah, 23, four and two was his best season in Minnesota. And what's let's see what his numbers were efficiency wise. He averaged a shot of 45%. 45% from the three. Well, he, he shot better at war, on the Warriors from three. I'm telling you, he's shooting better 35. from the Warriors. I can guarantee you. I don't even have yeah, to look this okay, up. Yeah, but he's shooting like a higher percentage from three. Field goal percentages, though. 45, 45 was free the throw, 76. 44 through his whole career there. I'm not arguing that he's better on the Warriors, but it's because of the role that he plays, right? That's what they I'm saying for at, Wiseman. Okay, yeah, but you're you're yeah, saying that he won't reach his max potential. Obviously, he won't because of the players that are ahead of him. No, it's because of the role. That's so what I'm trying to tell you, bro. Like, I don't think so. You put too much stock in the system. It's the same size as one. I think That's I think you guys put a lot of stock in the system. What do you mean the system is the reason? Because, they're winning. Yeah, the system right is now. the reason they're winning. But just the same way Hudson said, like, oh, you can't just. Just because you're winning doesn't mean you can't get better. Like that doesn't mean their system can improve. Like they're obviously looking. 
Like they drafted Wiseman because they're looking to improve the system. You know? Exactly. Like, no, they drafted him because he they thought he could fit in the system. No, I but don't, he can't. He can't. Dude, you they can't didn't draft him. So. No, because games, yes, I, this is ridiculous. Hey, bro, like, honestly, no, 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 no. Oh, hey, bro, 56 games sample size, and we're said, saying his career is over for the word. Like, like, you you just I didn't say it's over. I said he's not going to be good on the Warriors. You got to wait till they let him go. Wait till they let him go. The like, oh, they let I can wait a year and tell you the same thing. I know for a fact that it'll happen. When it when it comes to the system, like. We're God, you, guys, God you said that you said that in college or in the few games he played, he was doing post shit. So obviously they were looking at him for a re like if they were they aware take, that they he know was doing post stuff, good at. like and they, they're not gonna draft him thinking, oh, he's gonna fit when they see him doing Bro, this shit. All, all the college players that they draft, they obviously see flashes of them doing other things and hope they can develop those areas of their game. Obviously, okay, he's already that... elite. Well, I don't want to say elite. He's really good at the post stuff already. So they're okay, saying so he I, develops he's not good at, at post moves Bro, as you think he really is, honestly. So what is he good at? What is he good at right now? Playing defense, setting screens, and like catching lobs. That's what his his whole role was for. What is he? What is he good defensively at? Except if he's already at the rim, potential to be a good defender. Okay, that's what he wants. What is he good at right now? What is he right now? Tell me what he does right now that helps him. He's average at everything. I'm not saying he's a good player. Average at everything. What does he do better than Looney? Catch lobs. That's it. That's literally it. And dunks. Uh, I, okay, so you you drafted a guy second overall to catch lobs. Well, you want to develop him. You the drafted. Thing is to you develop drafted him, though. Congrats. Walmart Clint Capella. You got Capella. Congrats. <laughs> you wanted you wanted to develop him though. I mean, like if Capella's on the Warriors, wouldn't they be really good right now? I'm not saying he's obviously you want him to be better than Capella. Oh, two I'm saying yeah, you can. Improve yeah, if his, he was half as good as Capella, they would he would be helpful. Oh, I said Capella, but he still he can improve I, in the post too. He has potential. Well, in the is post. bad. It's not a really. But good even Capella, like let's say he has the potential to shoot, not potential, but he can shoot threes. What I've seen, well, the so, three. Yes. I'll give you that. We'll, 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 I'll 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 give you some That's time for the threes. Time. It's not enough sample size. I, I just on don't the think it's fair to say that he will just doesn't fit in the system after fifty six game sample size and the amount of games he played in I high school. Years. And he played in the COVID year for uh, in college too. But so he played like three games. Okay, like, okay. Here's the thing though. Here's the thing. You're saying okay, he doesn't fit after fifty six games. It's not fair to say that. Whatever. I'll give you that. But it's like you expect him. How how fast do you expect him to change his game? Like in in another fifty six games, it might take two three seasons for him to finally get into the group. I just I don't really expect him to really change his game. I expect him to learn the system better. I'd say like a season or two, I, to get better in the system to help them win games. But it's like because when you drafted him, you knew he wasn't going to be like all NBA center or something like that. You know? No, once you drafted him, you hoped he would be that. You hope that's he what would, you do. That's what you took like, him at number two for. Yeah, look, could be all I mean, NBA guard, third second. He wouldn't be on the Warriors though. He's not all in. You wouldn't start on the Warriors, bro. Not like, on the Warriors. You wouldn't be an all star either. But you also cannot role, like... tell me that Lamelo would not fit the system a hundred times better than. Okay, so how do you ball disagree ball. with the Lamelo thing? Not being I'm on the to, system. That doesn't make any sense. So he's a good. He's he's good off ball. He's good enough. When have you seen him play off ball? On the on the on the Hornets a lot. Right, when show, Terry me Rozier, show me some highlights. Show me some Look at Terry Rozier assists. They're all to Lamelo after him doing the Bing Bing Bing, and then Lamelo's cutting. That's it, and, and like comes back for a three. But Bro, that's, I'm not saying Lamelo. I'm he's, not saying Lamelo. He's, Steph he's Curry. Best when he's with, with the ball in his hands. Obviously, correct? but he can he can play off ball. Jordan Poole is is best with the ball in his hands, but he can play off ball. It's the same thing with Lamelo. He's, he's not. He's definitely not as good when Curry's on the court. Okay. He's averaging okay. like 17 points. But that doesn't but mean he's a terrible planet. player. Doesn't mean he Never doesn't he fit a in. Terrible the... player. Okay, this, uh, he just so... wouldn't be a star. He's saying he's going to be all NBA. That's nonsense. Oh, I said he's not. That's crazy. I, I think Lamella could be all NBA. Be on, the, on the Warriors? No, I'm, in general, career wise. Oh, I was comparing yeah, career wise. Of course, yeah. No, I'm not. I'm not he's I'm definitely. about him on the Warriors. No, no. This is an all NBA caliber player in the future. I fully believe that. My point is if Lamella was drafted to the Warriors, he'd be like a better, a little bit better Jordan Poole. That's fine. That's a great player. That's way better than what Wiseman's giving them. Okay, but you already and have imagine that with Jordan Curry, Poole. So don't you want to develop Wiseman and I'm, be a better team potentially over the years? Imagine Curry got injured and he stepped up. You know how good he'd be right now? All right, look, on at, that team? look at Jordan Poole right now. Oh, that's what, and he's and he's better than Jordan Poole. Look at what he would do in okay, that scenario. But we, we don't like need him because Jordan yeah, Poole is like. But good I'm enough. telling you, I'm telling I'm go, you. I'm going back to their Jordan system. Jordan Poole would too. be as good if Lamelo was on they, the team. Lamelo's you know? a, a, a chance to develop a center into being really good. I don't know. I'm a, in I'm that a, role and you have Jordan Poole as well. So like you keep him if he's not good in a few years and then. Is what it is. I was wrong, but after a fifty-six game, fifty-six game sample size, in three years, three years, fifty-six games, you're gonna tell me just to give up on him? That just sounds crazy to me. It's not about. It's. I mean, it's not about giving up on him. It's just that you gotta realize that, like, yeah, continue to develop him, like, continue to build his game. But it's like you just have to realize that he's he can he's never gonna be the player that you drafted or hope to be with this team. I don't think I don't think you can say that after fifty-six games. 
I think you can. I just think right, we'll I, have to see. We'll wait and see. Well, I'll, I'll wait and see. We could come back to this, but I'm pretty sure I'll be right. I just the this the system takes precedent above <laughs> the players, sure. especially rookies. Like that's why you've seen that in the good. past. Say if he went to like the Pistons. That would be much be better. Really yes, yeah. yeah. Hornets. He'd be amazing I mean, on the Hornets. I mean, they know what they drafted him for. He wasn't going to be the like center like so player could, on the offense. He's going to be the overall. <laughs> so going to be the overall like player on the offense to focus on it. It's always be Steph, Clay, and Dre. And you'll you'll have add players to complement that, and that's why he's just like a lob threat, and you want him to play defense. Why he's in the role that he's in. I mean, even even with the words, what do you see ce ceiling being like? Clint Capella's a ceiling. Yeah, basically. And you yeah. got to wait two, three years. Too, yeah. Like, will, so will Dre be on the team in two, three years? Will Steph be healthy in two, three years? I say, well, next year. We, we'll give it till next year. Because next year, you will want him to develop. Okay. I mean, if, if that's, that's enough really time good. for you, I personally don't think by next year he's going to... Like, he'll be, he'll get better, obviously, but I don't think he's going to drastically like, change his game. 14 and 7 is good enough to win. He would fit them much better than the this Warriors. Guy was Jalen later Smith? Than him, but he was no, better he than wouldn't. Wiseman, yes, so. he would. He would fit them infinitely Bro, better than Wiseman. He's played more games. I think it's just experience in my, in my eyes. I personally don't agree, but we, we can move on yeah. because I don't think you're going to come around to, to my point. I think you're, you're too biased on taking a, a bad any player. Any player, I'd say 56 games. I'm he just not, he's just I'm sore, not sore that we're calling Wiseman not a good Warriors fit. No, I'm saying any player. It's you okay, can, Hassan. Can it's player. okay. <laughs> it's you okay that Jalen Smith player. is playing better than James Wiseman. Yeah. It's okay. Yeah, I never thought Jalen okay. Smith when he was on the Suns and played 56 it's games. It's okay. Jalen Smith is pound for pound way better than Wiseman right now. The Suns thought they should give up on him, so. pound for pound. Yeah, they just weren't playing him. I mean, Jalen Smith would drop off Wiseman a one-on-one, too. What straight hands. I think he would. He would. Hey, Why is this too soft? The, he one thing, dog the, the one thing I will say, like, as even if he's he's not ready, he doesn't know the system. Good players don't get sent to the G League. Like I'm telling you, I don't care if they don't how madly you know the they don't why know the system the because he sucks. <laughs> That's not the reason why. He's just been... He can't play NBA basketball. Is why the he got reason sent why to the is he, what, he got sent to the G League because he doesn't have enough. He hasn't got enough minutes to play. He needs more minutes. Have you seen him learn the game of play basketball? NBA and... minutes. Yeah, and he's played especially what, earlier this season. You would understand why he got sent to the G League if you saw him earlier this year. No, if, dude, dude, just play basketball. They, they, like, they no offense, play, he just wasn't NBA more ready. The reason they sent him there, yeah, he's not NBA ready. And why is that? But Because he's not good enough yet. Oh, <laughs> he's no, not good enough. He hasn't had games. Yeah, he's been injured. Jesus Christ, can't uh, say. Bro, there's bro, nothing wrong NBA with not being good enough. Like 20 bro, 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 he's like, was in the G League. It's fine. He wasn't good enough when in his rookie year to play NBA basketball. That's not a knock on him. There's a difference because Jordan Poole played games in Michigan. Did he not? Okay. Was playing like NBA games. games. He, NBA games. He he sucked. Sucked. No. They NBA they games. Wiseman. This is so it easy more, to comprehend. For, One man didn't play games and has potential. So if a guy doesn't play games and he's just put into the NBA, he's just going to flourish? Bro, there, first of all, two different things. When Jordan Poole got drafted, yeah, he played games at Michigan. He came into the COVID year, didn't have any offseason, any summer league, anything like that. He still and, played games, though. And our team okay, was, who's, who was injured? Everybody was injured. Listen to me. Let, let me finish my point. He didn't play any games, shot 20% from three. <laughs> like, listen... That, so he obviously needed time to develop. Clearly, he, it wasn't working in the NBA. He needed a, a year of development. But James Wiseman, he's been injured. I'll give you that. He hasn't been fully healthy. But even, he hasn't been injured for two straight years. You cannot tell me he's been injured for, yes, for 700 has. whatever days. Dude, he played like what? His, look what he, how many games he played his rookie season. He played like 30 games and got okay. injured and hasn't played since. If, if, if he has been injured for two straight years, there's then you can't ignore the fact that he he's he's a Greg Oden. Do you think he's going to come back like Embiid? Do you think he's going to come back like on Embiid timing? Like he recovered and he's going to be a god? Players to, are Embiid, bro. To, like you yeah, don't have yeah, to be yeah, Embiid. Yeah, yeah. You don't have to be Embiid. He, he played 17 games his rookie season. Okay, so he, okay, well, okay. He hasn't played Whatever, since, right? 17 no, games is fine. he played 39. He played 39. But listen to me. This is right now, 17 right now. Yeah, right now, yeah. 39 games. 39 games. About half the season. About half the season. Less than half. Yeah, and then came back. So I half the season. I think a G League season games, is half that. Is, yeah. is half, uh, 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 or not half. It's about 39 yeah, games. 12, so and, played, 12 and 6. He games. He did, played some games in college and some games in high you school. You also got to realize he practices with the team on a daily basis. It's not like he what, sits. No, no, yeah, talking yeah, about yeah, practice? Yeah, yeah. He, practice? We're bro, talking about practice. You, you're talking about him? No, no. You're hey, talking about him game, learning the system. Game. What the fuck is he doing in practice? Dicking around? system. Nah, it's a complicated two years, yeah. two years. He don't even have to hurts, play basketball. So. He hurts, bro. You don't even have to play. Are you gonna tell someone to practice when he's hurt? Games, okay, games but he's in the thirty-nine games, games. He's not. He's, he wasn't hurt for the whole year. He That's played half, half the so season. He's gonna learn the system, a Golden State system in thirty-nine games. Bro, you don't have to be playing to learn the system. He's at practice watching these fools do it. He could literally so, watch the same shit Kevin Looney does. Players play. You think I can do what they do? It's not the same. 
What? Nah, dude, he, he because he's not good enough he's yet. Not That's my whole point. He's but. watching Kevon Looney do the same shit they tell him to do, and he can't do it because he's just he not talented enough. Oh my god, it's not a talent thing. What is playing well, games going to do? Why would he be a second pick if he didn't have talent? What do you Bro, think? He has bad? potential, not that. Yeah, so, but it, the and he's what he dropped thirty points in an NBA game, but he hasn't hit his potential. Yeah, because Dude, Taylor Horn games. Tucker dropped 40 points. I don't give a fuck about him. Or yeah, he dropped 50. Uh, yeah. okay, Taylor so Horn Tucker's then, ass. Weren't you saying Taylor Horn Tucker had potential when he was on the freaking Lakers? He had potential, but it, it's gone we, we, real, <laughs> no, no, we realized, okay, he didn't was live Taylor up to Horn it. Taylor Horn Tucker, second pick in the NBA? That's even worse. It's not in the. It's not even worse because you know the potential that he has and how many games he's played. Not gonna get, yeah, based on how, much, like, how little games he's had, like you guys, like, injuries, like, you're not going to give up on your second pick. Yes, I don't know why you say give up. Like I'm telling you, guys, I'll just cut him from the team. I never said that. Give up on him. That's, give him away. Give, yeah, That's what you're you saying. Give That's giving up on him. I didn't say give him up or give him away. I said he's never be gonna gonna become a, a good player, maybe an okay player on the Warriors. He doesn't okay. fit what well, they we'll do. Just have to see. It's gonna agree to if agree. he does, it might be four or five years down the line. He's not, bro. <laughs> just you're, can't say that. I, I yeah, guarantee yeah, you, you next season, all of a sudden, he's not gonna become some some double double machine, bro. Guarantee that. You have to wait and see. I can guarantee it. What do you right, guarantee, we'll, it. We'll, guarantee it? I just don't understand where you could potentially envision him. A double -double He's going to have to take a, like a monumental, time. most improved player type of leap. You understand that's that, not right? possible. I've seen it. It's possible. It's unlikely. You think that's the highest high probability of happening? That's what I'm well, asking. High probability, but I, I don't know. I, I just don't know. How, how high? I haven't seen him play that many games. He'll do it on a different team. It's been three years. And he's yeah, only like, played 56 that's games. So, that's so little games. But you know they're going to have to pay him next year also yeah, if they oh, want to keep his options. His rookie like, options. So, uh, okay, let's say at the end of this year. five years until he's. Listen. You want to give up on him. Okay, let's say in two years he's a little better than he is now. What the fuck yeah, are they going to do with him? Bust. Bust. He admits it. Okay. He admits it. Yeah, okay. but you're telling me right, 56 games is a bust. Like what? He hasn't even played a full NBA season. You're calling him a bust. If he plays through that and then he just is not good. Yeah, then it's not good. What can I say? He didn't develop, but you got at least got to get But you're going to get a chance. That's fine. I'm going to let him have it. In two years, when we come back here, I'm gonna be Birdman rubbing my hands on his set once we right. talk about this guy because I know he's on, at least anything. on the Warriors. Does, is he's yeah. not gonna I'll live up to. I'll be here too. too. It's is too early. In, in uh, exactly, Amari. Exactly. I'll, I'll let you live with it for now. But yeah. getting up on, on a man 56 games in is ridiculous. He, he just saw was, Jordan Poole's stats, average eight points in the league, and come back and now he's averaging what 27 as a starter. As Jordan a rookie, it's different. Oh, now it's different. As a rookie, it's different. Everyone should take that leap in their second year. He hasn't. Because he has been, he's been hurt. Dude, second year, so he's been hurt. How are you going to take a leap after 56 games unless you're just Two years born like that? So no, but young, best like, is, okay, look at, let's look at his stats wise. Like he played half a season in his rookie. He averaged 39 12 games. And six, right? He played 21 minutes a game. It's like he's played games? five minutes a 11, game. 5. That's his rookie season, he though. He 12 and 6, right? Rookie season. And then so far, he's. That's terrible? He, so far, he's played, what, like 80% of this season so far? He's averaging 7 and 4. 80%. 13 minutes per game. What are you gonna do with 13 minutes? In the if NBA, anything, bro? my man's regressing, not yeah, progressing. He, so far, he's like 13 minutes. He played half the reason the they sent him to the G League is because they want him to get more minutes and more experience playing basketball. And that's he, yeah, that's because he exactly needs it. Why. Because he needs it. Because he hasn't played he's basketball. Yeah. No, because he he's he's, he's, he's not developed. ready for the he NBA game. Talent. It's not, but it's not he bad to not be ready. No I'm not saying he has no talent. I'm saying his his game is not NBA ready. Like yeah, you're that's right. But why the reason why it's not NBA ready is because he hasn't played enough games. Like. No, I'm saying his talent level needs to be yeah, developed. Two minutes. You're telling me stats from two minutes. He played bro. 22 minutes. He got four points. Minus 29. That's yeah, fucking and you're atrocious. Telling me two minutes. You're talking I gave about the 22 minute no, one. You minus 29. That's atrocious. Minus 29. Minus 29. Minus 29. Minus 29. Minus 29. Minus 29 okay, is look fucking at terrible. Look at everybody. Look at the whole team you stats. You know what's crazy? Hold up. Hold up. Look at the whole team stats and who they played. It's 194 to 132. Can I show you something funny right now? I'm looking at this plus minus. Dude, they got blown out. Get off this. Whatever this is. Get off that. I want to. I want to see the players. I want to see the. Uh -oh. Yeah, like what the heck? Obviously, everyone's gonna be damn near negative. I'm gonna show you something. Where's the plus minus? No, he's, he's the worst. Though. He's the 28. worst though. He's the worst though. He's for sure the well, worst. Negative twenty nine. Okay, but Clay Thompson negative twenty eight. Talk about him. Talk about Jordan Poole. Hey, we talked about Clay Thompson being shit on here. All right, what about Jordan Poole? Negative twenty seven. Negative seventeen. Negative fourteen. The whole team was negative. You just want to talk about James Wiseman coming at negative twenty three. Can't talk about negative plus minuses on a blowout. The whole team did bad. Or the whole Damn. team about it. Was he not part of the team, though? Oh, my God. You're just he trying to pick up, pick, pick him out. He has the worst plus minus, though. This is just a recent game. We yeah, can nitpick all got bodies, a bunch of right? other hold on, hold on. games. He lost 94 to 132. Let me go back to you. How come even, like, when he plays high or low minutes, the only time he did good is when he played low minutes and, like, he had plus eight. Everything else has always been so far a minus. Why is he's, he always minus? He's right. He's not NBA ready yet. He has November, minus. I don't think he's a bust or he's not good for the, uh, the minus Warriors. Seven, minus 14, minus 10, minus 9. Dude, plus looking, two, what minus did five. I just say right now? This is this year. What did though. I just say? He's getting minutes. What did I just say? 16, 17, 20, 18, 14. What did, I, see? What did I just say? We, we don't need You're not
I just said let me let okay. me take stats for well, example. This, we're not gonna agree on this. Can I show you Lamella balls plus minus? <laughs> I think we all know, you know Lamella wouldn't have been that developed if he was in on the, the Warriors, Warriors system. Bro. In a redraft, he's not going top ten. That's all we need to say. Doesn't matter what his potential is, he's not going top. Warriors 10. are choosing Lamelo in that draft, or, or hypothetical. Reason. Warriors are choosing Lamelo in that. He fits. He fits very well. It doesn't mean this something. Is ridiculous. It means he wasn't Lamelo is a off ball player, bro. Like, dude, Jalen Smith is not even gonna be, this guy. Dude, he's not going to be focused on the offense at all. He's going to be the third option at best. Wiggins might be a better, higher option than Lamelo Ball when he's if he's on well, the Warriors. Lamelo can average and 15 if assists. Ball was a third okay. option. He would do six it. Is, is that? You're, I said would you call him a bust? Lamelo Ball was yes. On the Warriors, twelve. I give twelve. I give twelve. He'd I'm, average I'm, I'm exaggerating, but he can yeah. easily no, average double digit assists yeah. on the Warriors. Who do you want to even be? Halliburton. I, I can guarantee you won't even be an assist leader in the NBA. On the Warriors? No, I, on any team. All right, that's it for Ball Don't Lie. He's literally a top t five so assist guy in the better, fucking Hornets. Dude, no, I'm you talking said about on the any NBA, team. In the NBA. In the NBA. Is LaMelo not in the NBA? Okay, how many, how many assists <laughs> what, what league has he played for? He's averaging eight assists a game. You're going to tell me he's a better playmaker than Tyrese Halliburton? James Harden? I didn't say that. You said he can average 13. You know what? What eight to thirteen? He said is? he's exaggerating. We said fifteen. Okay, bro. I said I'm exaggerating. He can't, he can't even average ten. Bro, he averaged bro. ten last year, <laughs> or like nine point five no. or something. I guarantee you, he averaged close to ten assists it's last bad. year. Let's see all right here. All this button. The point is, like Lamelo Ball got that big because of like he's the only good. He's the, only the top on the team. Top player on like, the team. Bro, I promise Lamello, you. Lamelo would have just been on the bench. You like, guys, you guys don't know ball if you think, oh, because he plays for the Hornets is the only reason he's good. Like that's the no, stupidest take I've that. ever heard. I never said that. That's exactly he's, what he's you're put insinuating. In the right position. I'm saying he was put in the right position. But it being put on the Warriors is just like he won't be as good as he is right now. Is that obviously not? Obviously not. But it's not because he, not, he, it's not because he sucks to the right team. I never said because he sucks. He said he got less opportunity. Exactly. So his stats will be lower. But I'm not okay. But I'm not arguing Wiseman's stats aren't low because six seven seven. Obviously, eight, eight. Wiseman's stats would be higher eight, on a seven. different team, even if he was just as shit. I'm telling you, even on the Warriors, he's never going to get to the guy that's going to give you ten and ten. I'm, I'm telling you that that's not fair to say after a 56 game sample. You know what I think I'd like to see? I'd like to see Wiseman go to like the Hornets. They give him like 30 minutes a night with Lamelo. That could help him. That's what I'm saying. He needs to be in yeah, a situation like, like they that. Have, they have Plumlee right now, and Plumlee's like, not bad. But if like, they have Wiseman to like play 30 minutes, I think Lamelo could benefit like, a lot. All the young players on Warriors, Kaminga would be better on another team, and Moody would be better on another team too. Well, I'm saying for this example, Lamelo. Lame Wiseman could benefit well from this team. The reason I say this is because, bro, yeah, he gets playing time in the G League, but playing time in the G League doesn't help you prepare for the NBA. Like, what do you mean? I've seen a lot of players going to be, be better in the G League. From yeah, the NBA. But it doesn't, like, he needs NBA minutes also. He they can't just play in the G League his whole the life and didn't expect NBA. to be called what up and be elite. Life? Dude, he played like, what, 10 games in the G League? No, but I'm saying, like, <laughs> I'm saying him, go, him going to the G League, he needs to play consistent NBA minutes to get better. Like, G League will help you. Okay, when you, you're subbed into the NBA, you're ready. You know what's going on. You, you're you not anxious. You feel comfortable. Yeah, but you still need exactly to log NBA there. minutes to get better. He can't just play in the G League, like, 10, okay, 20 games, hop in an NBA game, and become fucking prime Embiid. You know not, what I mean? I mean, he is getting... Uh, minutes now with Curry gone, and this is probably the best opportunity to look at him and see how, how he's grown. Let's and see. he has grown since he's played from the first NBA game this season to now. And last if you game think an so, I, I haven't seen enough growth to say it's significant whatsoever. Oh, but a 56 game sample size is already good enough to kick him to when the did, curb. When did Curry get no, injured? I didn't kick him to the curb. I said on uh, the Warriors, it's enough to kick him to the curb. Yeah. When did Curry yeah, get injured? I'm talking about from the December, list. early December. He got injured the Pacers game. I don't remember. I can't remember when they so brought up Wiseman though. So, and what if he gets injured again? What are we going to say about him at that point? Yeah. Injury prone. Now. Like, then he's, then he's, he's still... Okay. So it's either... It, so you're putting a lot of pressure on this dude then. To be better? Yeah. He's going to turn out like Davis? Yeah, he's going to turn out like Anthony that's Davis? That's all I want to hear. I watch... Then you get... Uh, that, that's what I want to know. Because to me, it seemed like you were just like, oh, if he's bad or whatever. But like, if no, you're... No, no. If he's bad, then I'm wrong. Like... He's but bad. I'm saying you would be genuinely upset if he turns out and, and it like basically is like unusable on this roster. You would be yes, genuinely yeah, upset. Would, okay. Yeah. That's I'm what I want to find you out. Just, okay. You can't say that after 56 games. In okay, three that's years. fine. That's fine. If you if you if you actually believe that and would be upset if he doesn't reach your expectations, that's a fair point. I was I was under the impression that like, oh, even if he doesn't reach his full potential, it's fine. You know, no, you're no, making no, no, excuses no, 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 for him. No, 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 no. Okay. I'm just saying that the sample size is just too small for me right now. Okay. You might be right, but we have to see uh on games. All right, we got to see them. We got to see Wiseman. Let's we'll give him some time. This Wiseman topic now. I think it's a good conversation to have, bro. I think oh, yeah, Omar, talk, let's talk about the poster. Who fucks with the poster? I like it. That's what I said. I like yeah, it, Bez. Shout poster. out. Shouts for the poster, man. Shout out, Auto Bez. Life. Shout out, Bez, man. <laughs> Shout out, Bez. Out here, leveling up slowly. Craft skills. Let, here's another report. NBA general managers say teams are turned off by Jay Crowder's decision to hold out. It's one thing if Kevin Durant does it. 
but not getting by because he's not getting paid enough. But Jay Crowder, seriously, that is facts. Jay Crowder is not Kevin Durant. And teams won't. <laughs> yeah, better. This him it's, sitting out hurts his chances of getting traded because of his his uh, personality, and teams might not like trust that. He's oh, been on every team. Forgot about Jake. Like his trade value is plummeting because he, he's yeah, he stopped playing. He is. Forgot. Like, I literally forgot his name yesterday. Yeah, <laughs> he, he's, he's been on every team. You got like a diva mentality without yeah. like having the the resume to back it. Yeah, so like <laughs> that's why I was. That's why teams us. aren't trading for him too. Like he. Kind of getting it's ludicrous if like a role player is asking for to sit out for a contract because of contract extensions. Like, I understand that he's been into the finals. What like he's, two, three, he's been on every times. team. He's been on every team. Like, Miami always. went to the finals. Sons, they made it to the finals. Sons, yeah, they lost. He was on the Heat when they went yeah, to. He the was finals. on the Cavs at Braun. He's a winning yeah. player. He's on the Heat when they went to the finals yeah, the... on the bubble. He was on. Yeah, the yeah, that's the one he said. Cavs, Cavs Braun, Suns, Booker. Like he's just everywhere. <laughs> Yeah, he's a, he's a, he's a player that helps teams win. But I don't know how much money he's asking for and like the extension, but the, I think he wants like a long term deal. Period. Everyone's giving him like how much the, money the, though? Like I don't know. It, I don't think that matters. I think I think, I think he's more so concerned about having like you don't you think the Suns are just not going to give him an extension? No, because like once you're a role player, I think you have to be okay with b basically either being able to be traded at any point or like adapting to any system. That's just how the NBA is. Like role players are very expendable. Like they get moved a lot. They get signed to short deals to help win championships. He's going to have to get used to it, bro. Like, I hate yeah. to say it. That's just how the NBA is. No one's going to sign unless you helped literally win the championship. These these teams are not going to re-sign role players to like four-year deals over $10 million, which I'm, I'm assuming yeah. he wants over 10 mil. That Otherwise, I think they would have so given it to him. It's hard to speak on it because he's not saying anything and he's just been like quiet the whole time. So we only can speak on what we see. Yeah. And like, this is a perception of him being like a diva, diva mentality. And like, that's the reason why I'd say teams aren't trading for him and probably maybe... The trade for him at the deadline, but right now it's just... yeah. I mean, it's like Patrick Beverly saying, "Like I'm not playing for the Lakers." Like, okay, yeah. good. Like we don't Thank give you. a fuck. Thank he knows you. His role, though. Like, please don't play. What he's good for. Yeah, but what do you pa mean, don't Patrick play? Beverly's like, "I'll do whatever what it takes I mean? to win." Yeah. Jay Crowder's I like, mean "I, I won't pay me." Like I'm the most important player. Yeah, yeah. There's uh, the, speaking of Patrick Beverly. The, I remember beginning of the season, he's like, he was talking, I think Stephen A or something or someone, and he's like, look at the defensive ratings. When uh, when I'm yeah, guarding, it's like Giannis down. is on you. Forget and then the and then I saw a clip. It was like when I was like saying that, and then everybody's scoring at will on him in this season on the Lakers. <laughs> so funny. That team's just dysfunctional. Oh, it was the Luca clips. Yeah, this guy was getting cooked by Luca. Oh. Everybody gets cooked by Luca. Yeah, that's true. That's true. <laughs> Can't really be guarded. The Don. He was getting cooked on the Clippers too. I remember when he was guarding him. Luca's got to win more games. Like him. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, but he needs another star, what man. What do you think about the John Moran signature shoe? I like them. And they're 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 priced affordable too. I saw it was like one ten. And they look cool. I'll never buy those shoes. I don't really? Care for that player. I'm, I'm a gritty in those else. shoes on the podcast. <laughs> I'd buy it and gritty just on the table. Hustin. Yeah, yeah. We gotta we gotta all get some jaws and I'll I say right foot. I say right foot. I say right foot. It looked cool too. They remind me of like some Kobe's yeah, like low tops. We need a, so you a, buy a some? jaw ceremony. Huh? You buy some? I'd buy some. But I don't hoop like that like indoor anymore. I don't got a gym. I don't want to no, wear them outdoor you're... either. If, if I wear them outdoor, they're going to get gym. dirty. I'm going to get mad. If you were to play in the gym, though. I'm you beating you in the gym. Huh? What? I said you'd buy them? <laughs> I got to try yeah, them on. I'd buy them. They're cool. They look they a look little. Cool. I don't like Maybe the, the colorway. colorway I saw was kind of mid. Maybe that's why people are all. But... It is mid. Yeah, the colorway is kind of mid. I need no more colorways. The black one will be straight. Yeah, because you I did think, miss. We're not you holding miss. you. You just uh, bricking that you much. I edited out some bricks for you, actually. <laughs> <laughs> well, we gotta go do more IRLs. Hey, no, we gotta go. Man. We gotta find out. We gotta find out. I don't know. I'd rather have PGs or Kyrie's than. I gotta try them on, but they yes. don't look so great. Are they even on the on the market yet? Uh, I saw it. images, but they're not here yet. I didn't know they're affordable then. <laughs> they said it's like they said it's at one time. Yeah, I'm sure says, they on. released the price of it. Hold on, I'll tell you. I said live, right foot. I said right foot. I said right foot. Are you trying to look at the price of these shoes? Oh, I'll find you now. I saw something on Twitter say it's it's at one ten. I can't find the tweet though. Oh, right here. Retail price tag is set at one ten. So, I mean, that's pretty good price. I think, yeah. What was it? Be a fan of it. What? I just don't like Memphis. The price one ten. Well, you don't like Memphis? Shot ones. See, you're you're weird, bro. You're a hater. I'm a weird. Just, I'm a Suns fan. I'm that's a Suns fan. I hate the Grizzlies. They do too much for me, man. Like freak. Let him gritty, bro. He's like twenty reality years old. Show. He's like twenty one. Twenty two. It's a reality show. 
You don't even follow the Grizzlies that much to say it's a reality show. Well, I know you just see certain twi- you see Twitter. I watch your games too. They're good. They're good. Except you know the Warriors game, but yeah. <laughs> they do too much. They talk too much for a team that hasn't won anything. He sold me on the freaking. I I went over on his free throws. He sucks. I like the talking like in person. I hate the t- Twitter shit. Like, sh- dude, shut the That's fuck what up. They all do. Yeah. Like, John Twitter is really bad. No, I don't John, like seeing John you on need to shut the fuck up on Twitter. Like, away. It's like, bro, you're not, you're not, you're not like a street guy, bro. You're, you got a kids like you NBA player. I don't know why he tries to act like he's about to shoot somebody when he sees them. Like, you're not gonna do that. Find don't out. Don't talk Man, like find that. Find out. Find out. Yeah. Find out how <laughs> hollows feel, like, bro. Shut up. <laughs> what are you talking I about? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, I think good. it's just doing it. To I like the stuff my on mic, the court. Mic is muted when I was talking about the IRL shit. Was good. <laughs> good. So what happened? Point last is, we're saving everybody. yourself. I don't like how they released the shoe too. Like they said, oh, leaked bit of footage of uh, John Morant with a picture of the the logo on on and stuff when he's entering the plane. I'm like, bro, that dude took the picture this? himself. Look at this one. <laughs> we be having yeah, motherfuckers like... in their fields, bans big Memphis shit. <laughs> what is that? That's just who he is as a person. So yeah, I know. I, I don't That's care who he is, about that, but I'm like. I just don't like how they talk as and big men for shit. <laughs> I know, but there was a thing during the playoffs like, or something last year was like John more tweets or something and then oh, like baskets. Then <laughs> baskets. Yeah, and I like, was the, like the, Jesus the, Christ. The West thing was corny too. Uh, no, nah, I don't fear nobody in the West. I only fear the Celtics. Like, bro, you haven't won anything to be talking like that, man. You say, Oh, you can you can feel like Denver's pretty good. Just show respect to some other teams like I don't know if why it's a one man army, like if he, it's if Memphis he... against the world type of yeah, thing. Like you have to you have to do all that. And they haven't won anything. Maybe if you won stuff, you have the credit and the. Background it's not even that, that, bro. It's to me when he when they say that shit, it's like, bro, you're just giving other teams a reason to hate you. Yeah. Like, like if if you like would just sons. shut the fuck up and play, and you were good, people would respect you. Exactly. Like if it's all the extra shit you'd be saying, talking crap, like like the greeting is whatever. I don't have a problem with that because it's like every team that's up is gonna celebrate. Yeah. Fucking, you know, the Suns. LeBron does his stupid ass shit. Uh, Russell Westbrook with the I, I hate baby. that shit too he though. Lost every game he's done. Like That's kind of crazy. He's got to stop rocking the baby. No, the, ba- the baby. The baby is though. He rocks the baby though. Like at the worst time, bro. We're down fourteen. And he's rocking the baby. Like, are you <laughs> Did serious? Did you see Beverly when they're down? Beverly goes, so "Oh, he's too little." Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that shit is corny. When they when they're doing it and they're losing the they game or like have a terrible record, like yeah. you can't they be doing that. They are. They know who they are, so they don't care. Honestly, it's funny as fuck. He's calm. Do that shit. Like, no, I. I, I always hated when he did that when they were when, well anybody did that when they were losing like that's just lame to me I don't know yeah. they know where they are it's, it reminds me of that meme yeah. where it's like that dude crying but like they have the happy face mask on that's yeah. what Westbrook's doing like <laughs> rocking the baby down 23 you points that, uh, Chris Paul video <laughs> drop it making a three pointer down by 42 oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh Chris yeah. Paul made a Chris three Paul hits the lead brings it down <laughs> I seen some shit I seen some shit like it down to 42. Uh, yesterday because of the Broncos game like Russell oh, Wilson gets first down like like lead drops to like 15 to 14 <laughs> I was like dude <laughs> I'll talk about that guy, man. And this year has been, oh, God. <laughs> Let Russ cook. I think it still has more bathrooms than touchdowns this year. It's kind of still crazy. It's I like week, what, 14? What are we in? About that. That's funny. What week are we in? That crazy, is man. one of the worst offenses. How much is he getting paid? Does someone know how much this man's getting paid? Unbelievable, bro. That's the worst trade in NFL history. Uh, we have to wait till next year. You know what I was saying? I was like, we got to wait till the second half. And then the second half came and he's It's even to- worse. <laughs> no, they have to reset the offense. All right, all right. I got a, I got a segment for us right here. I'm going to... No, let's do this one. I'm going to name an NBA team. You tell me what players they should trade for, all right? Los Angeles Lakers. Realistically, too. You can't say fucking Giannis or whatever. Like, a realistic trade can Literally anyone. Nobody's going to help that team. No. You just asked I didn't question. Ask you, oh, my God. I didn't ask you who's Answer. helping them. I said, what players <laughs> should they trade for? Oh. The realistic Mark. players they should. Well, who should they try to trade for? Demar DeRozan. You want to say first? Yeah, Demar DeRozan. You want to ask why the basis um, package is explain good. well i think he'll fit the offense well playing with like lebron and ad and then keep him for a few more years too and he'll he likes la so where he's from okay i want kyrie irving why yeah uh explain, explain, the trade. i'm gonna name all these teams explain why yeah i think the trade will involve westbrook in some way so westbrook's gone i want kyrie scoring back couple with lebron get him back to going what they were doing plus ad i think it'll work plus he can shoot he's a shooter and he's a good scorer he doesn't need to pass lebron's passing anyway so I realistically, I'd rather have the Pacers back. Yeah, I would say that's the best trade for us. Healed and Miles. Yeah, like, that's, that's, that's good. Like the, the at this point, even though LeBron is old, not nah, he's old. He's getting. We older. need motherfuckers that can shoot, bro. Let's just keep nah, it a stack. But like, like, but they the whole like, oh, we need somebody who can also be ball dominated at time. Like, 
LeBron should just be the point guard. We, we the AD big three's got to stop, bro. Obviously, yeah, that yeah. shit doesn't work. Like the only time, it, like the only shit that works for them was LeBron running the system. Like that's all that's gonna work. Yeah, well, LeBron with role players. Yeah, you need good role players. AD. Don't well, know how that many shit. years left though? So or yeah, I know, but, well, I'm like, saying got to you got to maximize. You know what? You know it works. You got to maximize what works. If you get if you get Buddy Hill three and D, you get Miles Turner. But he's on a stretch next year before he's on his option, right, Bron? Nah, he he just resigned. He, got yeah, he two just more? resigned. Two, years. two more. He has one more year and then an option. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so next, two more from next now. year, I think is that's his last year with the Lakers. Yeah. in my opinion. So, I mean, he should leave yeah, after one that. More year. Yeah, if they, especially if they don't do nothing. It's just like Davis he's gonna leave if they don't do anything this year or well next year. We'll at least have some cap space. But if we use that shit terribly, he's gonna leave for sure. Where do you think yeah. he'll go? Good question. Either Better Cleveland or play with some. go back to Cleveland? Next yeah, year. Cleveland or wherever Bronny goes. But they got too much people down in Cleveland, I think though. Kyrie will go to, like, Dallas or something, to be Ooh. honest. Where do you think he'll go, Gabe? LeBron? No, oh, Kyrie. Next Kyrie year. next year? He's not staying with the Nets. Not you don't think so? You don't think he'll stay? What if they, no, what if they, what if they win? I don't think they want him. I think really? he would want to stay, but I don't think they want him to stay. What if they win? What if they win? Huh? What if they if so, okay. what if they win Ball, the boring uh, them winning a championship? Yeah, yeah. Okay, that um, fixes everything. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I say like the angles. Like the, the reason he's the leaving the right now is because they didn't give him an extension. So he wants it a long term. Every player wants a long term contract. Yeah. I don't blame them for not offering it to him. Yeah, every any team won't. <laughs> Never There's know. a lot of places <laughs> where people, a lot of teams don't want Kyrie Irving though. So it's kind of I know I know I'm trying uh, to figure out where. True. I think a lot of teams like the happen. Celtics don't want him. Like um. Oh, okay, obviously Cavs might not want him. I think Cavs don't want it because yeah, he could naming teams that he was on from the past. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah what's that? Didn't, he's in the, this, didn't work out. Have two do- ball dominant guards teams. also. Yeah. Like, come like, to the Lakers, bro. I don't know. Twenty-seven other options. That come would be the Lakers. Lakers. I mean, that's a good if, option. Yeah. What if like LeBron's gone and it's AD Another and Kyrie? Max, AD and Kyrie. Same, no, same I mean, he was LeBron would be last there. year. Why is it next year? No, Kyrie fits way better than than Russ does. Yeah, one hundred percent. You're gonna be the same system with like this. You're gonna have the same players that you had last year. Or this year, and then yeah, just like, also depends how much he Kyrie. signs for. We it's even be max money, Kyrie. You can't get nothing less. No, but he. I, I don't think so. I think you can. Miami. The trajectory what Miami? You wouldn't, get, you wouldn't get the forty-seven. I'm saying Westbrook's making. He would still be making like thirty something. Because yeah. he's not a he's not a super max anymore. Because he ha- doesn't no, have the accolades. Yeah, at, he's, he's not even eligible for that. Because that's what I'm saying. Yeah, because you, know you should go. Should go to the Wizards with Beal. Actually, not a bad. That's actually not bad. That'd be a good fit. I knew I got him. I think uh, if he if he doesn't care about if he doesn't care about championships, they'll they'll be open to you it. You gotta go to like a team like the Heat. Especially I mean, they, if those fools get rid of Kuzma. I feel like the Wizards are always trying to win, but they try to win, but we just brought him up. I know. <laughs> no, I think we established they're not trying to win. Well, I mean they've gotten players like they tried try, try, traded for Kristoffs. If win for means Kuzma, playoff team, then yeah. Traded for Westbrook. I mean, they, yeah, they're trying to put themselves in a position to win. I'd say that the front office. They're not just like deliberately tanking. Okay, while well, on the Wizards, yes. who who should the Wizards acquire to try and make a push? If you're talking about the Wizards, there's nobody they can yeah, trade he's for. Right. There's right. literally nobody bes- uh, aside playoff of a top push. ten player. Push, like, but... yeah. Here, Send I'll gi- I'll give you the next team. Healthy Kawhi. Hey, who'd you say for the team? Uh, a player for a team for the Lakers? You said any team, right? Or you said Lakers? Lakers specifically? Who should yeah. the Lakers try and trade so for? You, who do you think? I, I said the Miles Turner Miles and Buddy Hill thing would be the best. Harry, right? Yeah, I'd say so. Okay, what about who should the the Warriors trade for? Ask Elsie Alcum, in my opinion. That's a good, uh, that's a great yeah, that's really good. option. Who yeah, they trade for him? I say, huh? Calvary. They're, they're dead. All the young guys, they have all, all their the picks. Send Wiseman first. I'm saying, I say, like, actually, that would be for great. Sure. No cap, that would be a for great sure. place yeah, for I, 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 Toronto. Would be a, a great place for Wiseman to go because yeah, they be need big men. For him and he's a big, big, like, he's a big, big, it'd be good for all the rookies they trade there, like Kaminga and Moody. Yeah, well, I. I mean, it would be good for them, uh, but I also think the, like the, the wings. Oh, the Raptors, the Raptors need young. Too. Raptors need all they the young play, talent they, they can get. The starters like four years. getting older. Like, them niggas going well, they'll, they'll, they'll have to blow it up if they want to do that. But I think yeah, like, they're trading Siakam. They're, they're rebuilding. Curry has a few years left, and he's still at the top of his game. And there's not many players as like him in the NBA history. Like, he can't waste his his prime to develop younger players that probably won't reach his like pinnacle of play ever. So like. I think next year is the, the window. If the players don't do it, you just blow it up with the, with the young guys and get somebody good. Keep pool, trade everybody else in your picks. Because they still have all their draft picks. They haven't traded one draft pick. Trade future draft picks and help Curry get another ring. I think they opinion. could trade from this year. That would help them a lot. Siakam's well, been playing I, unbelievable. Yeah. Well, all I mean, NBA level. All NBA level. I was about to say that. That'd be the best pick for him. He'd fit in the system very well. I, I say this year because like you want at least... Like half this is this year for him to get accustomed to the system. That way, next year everyone's like good to go. Yeah, or maybe traded for him in the off season. I don't, I don't know where the Warriors are like early off season though this year. Kind of weird because they're even with Steph they're winning games. I wanted them to like tank 
Get you a high mean draft not pick. winning games? Oh, they've won two games. They're like two and two or something like that. Without them in the four game span, I think I've seen. I want them. I wanted them to tank, get a high draft pick, and then just trade everybody. This and, year, yeah. Well, when Curry went down, like because we we're already like damn near below five hundred. So. I really think they should cash out on some of those young players. Not all of them necessarily. I think you keep, keep some pull. of them. I, I say keep pulling. No, I don't, I'm not even bro. talking about pulling. I'm talking about like the 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 guys that drafted like the last two years, like Minga, Minga Moody, Minga Moody, Wiseman. Um, who else they draft? Who did they draft this year? Like even Baldwin. Patrick Baldwin. Yeah. He doesn't even play it too. That this year. These he, are he like has later potential. Though. He has potential. But Wiseman doesn't. He's the second pick. No, I never said he doesn't have potential. I just said he wouldn't live up to it with the Warriors. But yeah. All right. Uh, what do you think, Gabe? Who should the Warriors trade for? Oh. Said P. I'd say. I'd go for. Hmm. Another center would be good too. I think. I think what, what they could use. I think they need D too. So I think the. What? The D. Three and D. <laughs> I think <laughs> I would think the Buddy Hield and that Miles Turner would fit for them too. Miles Turner and, and Buddy Hield, yeah. like Buddy Hield, like would light it up with all those guys. Like I, I, I don't know. I think that helps. It's a, a better lot. package for Indiana too to get I'd like Moody like, and someone Richard else. Wouldn't be bad too. I wouldn't be shitty bad yeah. either. Yeah, it's not. I'd like, say Pacers bundle. I, I mean, I think Siakam and Pacers. I, I, say I think anywhere the, the Pacers guys go, any any team could use their benefit. Uh, <laughs> we'll see somebody I mean, yeah, from I the Bulls. So. Bulls are definitely making a trade. Two, three, I think Vooch is Yeah. Vooch is one's, the center and one's, the guard. one's like, like, like a top five three-point shooter, and the other one's Miles Turner. So Who should the Warriors trade for? Warriors? Yeah. That's what I was trying to do with that, the spicy P1. Okay. Look. They do need better big. Lots of ball. You don't. You don't have to think of some crazy answer. If you if you think Turner is the best so, no, one, it's so, fine. I mean, but Siakam will be. They really do have too. To be kind of mix it up with the young and the old. Yeah, but it's the old like, is about to finish. I, I'm saying you could trade some of them. Like you, trade some, yeah, yeah, like, you don't need a. You need Kuminga, Moody, and Wiseman, and yeah, these like, guys you drafted <laughs> this year. Seventy five draft picks. Like, have, Fucking Stephen Curry, like I think, uh, <laughs> like, yeah, the go, roster's too good because even even if you keep those guys, ring. you're gonna have more draft pick next year, and then you gotta draft more players and develop them. It's like you gotta you can't trade ruin, some like of them. Curry's like the time that he has left. Yeah, bro. gotta use it to the you, utmost. You need some vets. You need some some vets. Like Divincenzo is not you can enough get decent, vets. You can get if you can, like move your pieces around and get decent for, like thirty years old. That's what we've been doing. Or like you know what I mean? Like oh, well, last year, not thirty, but like twenty eight. Like people like not too. They, they get like Bro, Porter was starting, was he not in the finals? Yeah, like, Otto Porter for some games, yeah. Yeah, I feel like that'll be he was better good too. He's pretty good. They do like reclamation projects or players that like, get hurt or haven't lived up to what they used to be. They'll come back to the Warriors and like get a, a payday somewhere else. I think they got enough assets though to like keep everybody that's important to them and like right. get get some of those veteran players that you don't have to like build back up. They're already good players. They're just thinking way too far into the future to keep the dynasty, not dynasty, but championships coming their yeah, way. Yeah, I know what they mean, but I think. Steph, like Steph, right now is a priority. One, you know, yeah. yeah, it's like you got to maximize what you have with him. Yeah, what they do. I, I trust the front office. Okay, next team. Who do you think the 76ers should trade for? If you nobody. say no one, you can I say, say no one. Yeah, I, was say, I like, say no. I think they're in a pretty good spot to just see what happens this yeah, year. Nobody. Maxi coming back, like their team is pretty complete in my eyes. They have a lot of good players. They have a superstar MB. They have Harden. Playing like amazing basketball again. All star, yeah, all star level. I mean, I, I, I'd say no one right now. I would say so there's no holes. Uh, I'd say in their offense. I would say I already said this earlier. I would say Harrison Barnes. I think they need one more three and D wing because they got they got Tobias, who's he's he's a, he does the three and D wing role, but that's not his like main Sorry. game. And I think like Matisse doesn't shoot well. Like he's not, a great defender. He doesn't shoot well. You got a lot of good have, uh, PJ. He, PJ is also not. But he gets a donut every. He doesn't score. He doesn't. He doesn't score at all. I mean, he's just there to shoot corner threes. I know. I know. Defense. I know what he's. I think for. Harrison Barnes gives you a little more where, like, he can pretty much shoot threes from any part of the court. He's another good wing defender. Okay, but when you lose Tobias, so Harrison Barnes will start. And what else would you get? For I'm not even necessarily saying they have to trade Tobias for him. I'm just saying he's a player that they should look to get. Basically, like depth, more depth for them. I think they need another wing, def wing depth that they could play in the like a veteran wing player that they could reliably play in the playoffs because i think they have a good amount of guards that play well they got melton maxi harden even Makes milton so those are that's more than enough for the guard position um and beads enough for the bigs uh you got tobias and pj at that four spot i think that three maybe getting like a javel mcgee would help them too for Embiid's minutes yeah like a backup like a big to play 10 minutes or whatever yeah. that's not too I'm bad sure that's short, not montrezl i like paul <laughs> reed but he's too young still i think yeah 
Hey, James Wiseman. <laughs> oh, look at James Wiseman. No, no, they need a vet. They need a vet. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. It's untapped yeah. raw potential, James Wiseman. We'll see. It's they're gonna just have to show up in prime time to be top teams. And I don't think they need it, but I think it would like change my perspective on them if they got like a guy like Harrison Barnes. I think it would like elevate them above like just a bit. The Nets to me and things like that. Oh, I think they're already better. Like I'm talking about Boston and Milwaukee is where they want to elevate themselves. I don't think I don't think a territory. single trade will do that, but I think it'll put them like close to them, like in that competition. To me, personally, it's kind of hard for them to get better. Than they are right now. Cause, I, cause like when Yang's ceiling. when Yang's hitting shots, when Tobias is hitting shots, they look good. But it's like I haven't seen that consistently enough, especially in the playoffs. Tobias always fucking shrinks in the playoffs. Yeah, yeah. I, so I, it's like I'm down to him, though. It's gonna be him and him, Harden, Maxi and him, and Bead. True, but I also think like you need, you need guys to hit shots in the playoffs, like we saw with the Rockets. You need uh, some. I'm not saying this dude gotta hit 20 points, but he gotta hit two, yeah, three threes. A, a historical like yeah. type of thing. But you still <laughs> gotta be able to hit like two or three threes in a playoff game. Like you know, no, you don't gotta drop 20 or nothing. Last but... chance. Uh, next year is your last chance. No, I say that. Out of here. Houston or James? Yeah, he. he they, Depends on how they I miss, lose. I miss my scrippers. <laughs> yeah, Back to Houston. Folks. He might. I don't know about that report. I don't know how that makes yeah, sense. They asked him. He said no. Nah. Well, I mean, he always denied well, no, he every report. Like he wasn't what is he? He's he not said yes, yeah, on Christmas. Obviously. He's gonna say he no. Said yes, on Christmas. He denied the nah, Philadelphia man. thing too, like going to the 76ers and wanting out of the Nets. As he could have told his that. best friend that, and like yeah. he, to the reporters, he's gonna yeah. cap to their ass, like he didn't say yeah, shit. Yeah. So it's just that's how politics. You gotta trust what, like Woj and that type of stuff. Okay, Trans. let's do another one more team. Who should the Dallas Mavericks trade for? I think they need to. If they want a if they want a realistic shot at a championship, uh, Zach Levine would be a star. Do. I like that. I like that a lot. I like that too. Because it's realistic. Because the Bulls are this close to trading one of their players. Or just I think they lost to the right. Rockets today by yeah. twenty points. <laughs> they're on a win. They're on a little uh, mini winning streak, but they just lost to the Rockets. You see, Io hit that game winner and like fell on top of John Collins yeah. <laughs> and like they're celebrating yeah. on him. I was like, that's and then they struggle. they Brunson missed two free throws and they they beat the Knicks because of that. Like these are like ticky tack wins. Nothing that you can really like stabilize based on their offensive, like, yeah, like uh, it's not good their team it. paralysis. Yeah. Without Lonzo, too, I think he won't come back until next year. If that. Yeah. And Levine just like, you can see when he plays, he's just fed up like with the team and stuff. Did you see the thing? It's like, I saw one on Twitter. It's like his number was only trade destination is LA for now. But yeah, do, you, so do you think he's not? Rumors? I don't agree with that. I don't agree with that either. Everybody I think he prefers LA, LA probably, LA, but, but he, if he gets straight to the Mavericks, he's not going to be like, oh, I'm not playing, you know? So I, I say Zach to the Mavs. Paul George. With the, who, they won't trade players, yeah, yeah, I'm saying who could. I'm saying who back. should the Mavs go for? Who would the Mavs? Yeah, they they it's got to be <laughs> somewhere real, like realistic. Would they get back? Damn the niggas. Mavs. They got Just contracts and some picks. Yeah. I mean, that's what the they give out. They're they're one good young player, Josh Green, some picks, and then the contracts like Bertans to just make it work. Because if the if the Bulls are trading Levine, they don't they don't want players back. They want picks. They're gonna they're Rebuild. obviously Sabonis. Bonus Sabonis. Build around Patrick Williams, <laughs> the paw. That's what they call him. Wasn't he like seventh pick or something? Yeah, he's top the fourth 10. pick. Crazy. Yeah, he's he's good defensively. Everybody say ayo. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think, Gabe? <laughs> that, who? The PG? Paul George, but that's unrealistic. I still want him to be on the <laughs> team. Build around Andre Drummond. <laughs> oh, Kobe White. He just needs a star, bro. Luca needs another star. Kobe's actually not that bad. He might get traded too. Yeah. Yeah. He, like he's a good six man role type of player, but he doesn't. There's too many guards on the Bulls yeah, for him to do that. His stock fell down a lot on that team. His stock, because they have guys that do what he does, but, but better. better. Exactly, he had his, he had like his they opportunity do. when he was younger before DeRozan before came. those guys came. Yeah, <laughs> so, I mean, like yeah. I think with another possibility, he can be a good six man. Yeah, I think that's his role. Like come off the bench, hit some shots, microwave type of guy. Oh, Mari. The Mavs should trade for Mavs. I'm gonna just agree with you on the movie. I probably would say have like um. Would be cool to have like Zach, but like like he could also thrive with like. Give him some bonus. Yeah, like somebody. Yeah, he's not gonna get traded again. He's not gonna get traded. I'm trying to think of somebody who would be realistic. I mean, Vucevic might not be bad either for them. Uh, about hit some three. I mean, I think Christian Wood does the same thing. Christian Wood, but like a bigger Christian Wood. It's like the same thing, but yeah. yeah, Demar might they not be bad for them either. Them. I would take Demar on the on the Mavs too. All like, the Bulls players are just lined up for every yeah, team. Demar anybody, might be better than anyone Levine they can get will help that, that role. Demar might be better than Levine that role. Anyone I don't know. The I Mavs think, can get will help him. 
think Levine's a little better because if Luca kicks it out, like Demar's gonna have to take some dribbles in and do yeah. some shit. Well, Luca, I mean, Zach can shoot it. Like the heliocentric route. Oh, you want him to give it to somebody else that he respects to go and get a basket. That that mid range thing helps Luca more than having another shooter just to pass out. And I shoot think Demar could, could do more so that Jalen Brunson what did last yeah. year. Have the ball in somebody else's. I hand. think Zach gives him a different look where it's like he can also get a bucket, but also like. When he need when when it is the heliocentric Luca moments, like he's fits there as well. Like Demar yeah, doesn't you give, have as much. If you give Luca that um, power, he's not going to pass the ball to Levine, and you he'll know, want you know to send the corner. Like he's just not going to pass the ball to Levine. Though. I, I'm, a good I'm sure they'll work no, it out. I'm, I'm sure they'll work out a balance. You for know it. what the best yeah. package would be? The Pacers package. The Pacers yeah. package. <laughs> Get him, buddy. Healed and well. Honestly, for the Mavs, you know, you you can say that for every team. Honestly, say the Bulls thing. Send the Bulls and the Pacers. They might not even trade them. They're winning. But every time someone asks me who you think they should trade for it, like that's the easiest answer to give. The Pacers. And they'll probably be like, you know what? That's a good one. Miles Turner has been on the trading block for like five years. God, they want to get that again. They don't even need to trade him anymore because they're like him or Sabonis, and then now they traded Sabonis. Like they might just keep him. That's crazy. They're talking about an extension with the Halliburton versus Fox shit was crazy too when that happened. I remember people were like, I remember. People were like what? <laughs> like, everyone was like, Well, they drafted a guard where they had De'Aaron Fox. Like, I, I don't Bro, get They the... drafted Davion Mitchell the fucking year after that. Too. I know. What, I don't why? get the process of like the Kings drafting. So that would be like, the it's always been a meme. You know, ball on the Warriors. <laughs> no, he actually fits, though. <laughs> so there's a the difference. No, the, but the Warriors didn't draft three guards yeah. back to back. Yeah, that, but... The Kings drafted three guards back to back to back. The best and then they traded. Yeah, they, they it, traded it, the arguably, best one. Honestly, the best one. The best, the best playmaker out of them the for best sure. Fox might be an all-star this year. He might be. Yeah, he sure. might be. Fox is having a great year. I don't think yeah. saying Halliburton's the best one is Halliburton like a. Would be a better. I think. Yeah, it worked out for both. I think Halliburton's better, but I think the trade worked out pretty fair. It worked out for both of them. It worked out, but I still think Halliburton with Sabonis and yeah, with Sabonis that team, he'd probably be better. They should have traded Fox though. I I would say if they could have got that package for Fox. I think like, they probably could. Off right now. But I the crazy thing is, like, probably could have. Yeah, it came right. out of nowhere. Like, it was yeah, his second like, year he was playing well. And they Fox, just... and Fox they, it was, everyone was expecting it, too. Everyone was expecting Fox to get traded. I remember yeah. the reports, they were like, oh, like. It's going to be Fox, yeah, like, finally. Yeah. Fox is going to, you know, like, you know, all the reports saying Seemed Fox. pretty cut up, too. Fox was with the team, like, he wasn't having it. With I mean, he, he's losing. been on there for, like, how yeah. many years at this point? They haven't ever made the playoffs. That's why I was like, all right, that's was giving up on, not giving up on him, but, like, you know, get what I can for him. It's fucked up because I think he was like the when he got drafted, he was like, "Yeah, I'm gonna bring this team back to the playoffs. Like, I'm gonna help this Let team." I'll say that he's doing it. Oh, Halliburton Bonus is helping. Yeah, yeah Halliburton, Halliburton said Halliburton that. Said, yeah, yeah, no, that. no, but no, no. If you go into the Kings, no, no one's saying that. No one's saying I'm gonna bring this team to, unless you're like a top pick, obviously. But it's like you, you can't Fox promise said, that if you're going to the Kings. I mean, he was dedicated. That's the right mentality, though. Everybody should say that. Then they took that nigga out of there. But a lot of the I 20, think he was genuine about it. Though. A lot like of the 2020 draft class is like a lot of kind of game changer type players. They've helping their team a lot, except Wiseman. But a lot of them are really good. <laughs> no, no, the like 2020 Maxie, draft Halliburton, class Edwards, bad, Lamelo. Huh? There's a lot of good players in there. There's good players, but like overall, Payne is to... in that class. Well, this this class is really good. What the 2020? It's it, it has a lot of good players, but I wouldn't say besides like Lamelo and Edwards, there's not superstar players. Maxie? And Halliburton. And Halliburton? Maxie's not a superstar though. You think I? But he's he's a third best player. He's averaging like twenty. Like the, the draft class has points. all around a bunch of good like quality players, but besides like Lamelo, and Edwards, and Halliburton, there's no star though. players in that draft class. The Max is a, could be a star. Max is a star. Mm, I don't think. Dude, so. you know you 20. know Jalen Rose. He literally. This was I was watching this game during the the halftime thing. They're like Max is coming back. Their second best player and Harden dropping a twenty twenty. Like he literally yeah, said. I, I don't crazy. know if Jalen Rose forgot like who like, Harden is. He literally like, said their second best player is coming back, and I was like, wait, what? Yeah. Am I hearing this right? I, I think ridiculous scoring wise, like you, if you want to win games, Max has to be your second best scorer. Harden has to like still drop like what twenty and twelve. Fine, that's yeah. good. Bane's averaging twenty five. I think that's what they mean. I don't think obviously Harden's a better player than Tyrese Maxey. Seventy sixers are literally like I feel like really like the most. Uh. Like, Dude, remember that uh, year they had Jimmy Butler? Uh, yeah, Jimmy like, but they just <laughs> never achieved what they're supposed to. Uh, yeah. uh, oh, That's what I'm scared. Like, it's, it's a lot of like okay, okay players. players. Very, very, very good. Best team. He's yeah. popping like, right You can't even believe in him like, to be favorites. You know, like, I don't know how long ago. He was good. He's they like, might show us now. They're on an eight-game win streak. They have better players now. Oku. But all these guys are like solid. Like, none of them are, besides the ones we need. 21st, damn. I said he was a steal. I still got the tweet up. Y'all could check it. That I said when Maxi was drafted, I was like, now. that's a steal of the draft. <laughs> McDaniels, Bain was 30. That was a steal, too. Find Very good steal. Go find the tweet and pull it up. Yeah, you got to go find every the tweet. Pick, every first round pick matters. Literally nobody in the second round. Oh, this Trey guy's Jones, popping Trey off Trey now. Jones. Yeah, Trey Jones. Nick Richards. He's good now. He, 
Not good anymore. Yeah, everybody else Bird sucks. Wars. Nico Mann. No, yeah, he's like not playing good anymore. KJ Martin, he's playing now a little bit. That's about it. Yeah. Bro, you know this guy KJ Martin like requested a trade or something. I was like, bro, what you, you play for is? the Rockets. <laughs> you barely yeah. get playing time. I'm like, I don't know where you mean request the trade. Like, just drop him. Like, <laughs> that's true. You know what? Like, he's a trade. Request the trade. Just get out. I don't know why people think they're like Kevin Durant or something to have the leeway to ask for trades, bro. Like, I remember when Marvin Bagley's dad. When I mean, he was on the Kings. I don't blame him, but like he was like saying, bro, I deserve to be in a better situation. I'm like, dude, he's your son's a bust. Like your son's a bust. Reevaluate your statement, bro. <laughs> yeah. He's in a better situation now. He got benched. He's not good defensively at all. At all. At all. I see the yeah. offensive potential, but defensively, it's kind of hard to keep him on the court. If- How long do you think um, Dwayne Casey stays there for? I don't know. I think they want to keep him. I think yeah, that, but how many he, more losing seasons can you really take? <laughs> I would say they're next year, players, if they're, they're healthy, they're, they're, they're not now. firing him this year. Cade's yeah, yeah, injured is no reason. Yeah. I'd say next year, if they're all healthy, at least Cade and like the main guys like Ivy and like Duran or whatever, if they're healthy and they still not even sniffing a playing spot, he's gone. Yeah, I think so. Because like he's been there for five years now. I saw and he, he was on the Raptors for seven years. And like, damn, this guy's been a head coach for a long time. Bro, I mean, he won coach of the year and got fired. Yeah, That's ridiculous. That was ridiculous. It was, but I mean, there were... They got to be in the second round. By, by LeBron, LeBron, but James. you don't understand this LeBron though. They, they gotta be like shit. You know, LeBron get coaches get over the fired everywhere on he go. Everywhere he go, he the award and on. they fired him. He's he's lost. The, Dwayne Casey has been on that Raptors team every single season. LeBron has been him, so like they're gonna have to find a way to get over the hump and blame somebody for the LeBron else. LeBron, LeBron blame, blame LeBron, LeBron for LeBron. being that good. <laughs> yeah, blame Casey. Someone else. I'm pretty sure everywhere, like maybe except this, there's nothing they could do. Maybe except his stint with the Heat. Everywhere LeBron has been, like he's gotten a coach fired. Yeah, Lakers. Even yeah, the second like half stint, like he just began people fired. Yeah. He beats people, get their coaches fired. Like the GM. <laughs> LeBron was there when Luke Walton was there. And they, he got rid of Luke Walton. They got Vogel. The coaches. Then they got Vogel. Then he got Ham. And then Ham. And then Ham in two years is probably gone too. Ham might probably gone with too. With LeBron, you're like expected. You have higher expectations. And if yeah. you don't meet those. Like, you have a chance of getting a ring and then you're going to get fired. <laughs> he has a lot of say too. Like. He's a player that actually has sand in an organization, not KJ Moran asking yeah, for trades and stuff. <laughs> KJ Guys, Moore. can you guys trade me to like the like, Warriors? Can you guys trade me to the Warriors, please? Yeah. <laughs> I want to go to the Warriors. <laughs> they got a list Ron of teams. Powerful than organization. <laughs> he yeah. comes up with a paper. So these are a list of teams that want it's KJ Moran in the office. They're like, yeah, okay. He walks out, they rip it, and they just drop him immediately. <laughs> like, who the they fuck is the this guy? <laughs> Like yeah, like now the that guy's done. Now that that guy's out the team. There's a wave of of players like just not immediately. Just thinking that they're him. Like, yeah, <laughs> thinking that he needs to get out of here. I like ben, the confidence. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That, that's one way of putting it best. I like the confidence. The thing is, like, I like players who are just humble and, like, you just see that they're good based on their play and they don't fucking say anything. Yeah, if that opportunity Caruso. is not, you're not in a good opportunity, wait till your contract's done and then, or Caruso. after a trade quietly and leave. Or, or like, I'm okay if, if a reporter asks the question about, like, how do you feel about your game and they, they talk confidently. But yeah. it's like, when you're out of the blue nowhere, like, after the 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 you know the game's over the interview post game it's like so you your guys team one how do you think you did I'm him I did like I'm like bro just shut the fuck up like, it's crazy he's my first it works well Anthony last year he was well, like he made a buzzer beater he could yeah, say he could yeah, say yeah, him, yeah. after the buzzer beaters everyone's like emotions running crazy I don't blame true 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 it's what, I meant the I meant the I'm post the game best. where they're like at okay, the podium type yeah. shit and they like got a chance to get dressed and calm down and they're still like. <laughs> The best player in the game. Minus, Russ, minus chemistry. <laughs> Bro, Russell Westbrook did that shit last year at the end of the year. I don't know if you remember. He, he, they were talking about, like, Russ, what could you have done better this season? Oh, he's like, And he's like, I don't know, bro. I averaged a triple-double. I'm like, you cannot be saying that with a straight yeah, face. Like, like, you ever like... Oh, this was, like, the after press conference. Where he was, yeah. like, yeah. blaming everybody and stuff. Yeah, I was like, himself. dude, there's no way you can say that you played well this season with a straight face right now. So like, there's no yeah. way. So, like, unhumble is so crazy sometimes. That. that was just ridiculous. That, like, I think that's what he was like aiming for. I made a whole video about that. I'm like, dude, you, <laughs> there's no way you can have zero accountability. It's the reason... And he, he did a complete 180 this year and like actually he's like, yeah, I'm accepting a bench roll. I'll do whatever, which is, just I think to get happy that is literally that a lot about him. The way, I, the way I'm seeing the Lakers season, the only reason they hired Darvin Ham is to handle Russell Westbrook. Like <laughs> the, during the interviews, oh, no, the, during the interviews, they must have said like, you have to fix Westbrook. Like they, cause his, 
His some of his rotations have been suspect. This is the reason I'm saying five this. Guard yeah, yeah. That, that's why I'm saying it. That's small ball. Like that's it has to winning. be. I'm saying his reasoning. His <laughs> reasoning has to be. Just small ball. He got hired because he could handle Russell Westbrook. Well, can you blame and, like, him with the, down. the pieces that he has, bro? You saw the starting lineup with all the Yeah, the other for day? sure, for sure. He doesn't have. <laughs> he doesn't have much to work with, but the still inexcusable. The, inexcusable. The stars, I don't care if when in Gabriel's out there, you got to You cannot have five six one guards on the floor. Just trying stuff out, bro. Like you got to figure something out, dude. He's like, fuck this. Yeah. Oh yeah, the clipboard he's like yeah. ass. <laughs> give the ball to A D like Where is A D? <laughs> <laughs> that's how the team's We're bro, fucked like, is the I love Twitter, bro. That's what, I love Twitter, bro. You should see Twitter after Laker games. games. I just go and laugh because I'm like angry, but yeah. No, but even I, I'll give him leeway. He got to try shit, but I don't even Five think bucks. you do not have to play a single minute of those guys together for me to know it's not going to work in the NBA. <laughs> I, I can tell you. I'm on my couch. Uh, yeah, I, I can, can tell, tell you it's not going to work. But, I got to try something out, man. Yeah. I mean, I, I don't I don't blame him fully for it. I, I don't know, dude. If I think until <laughs> Genie sells the team or Rob, one of those has not to happen happening. first. Until Rob gets fired or Genie sells Rob the team, like nothing's going to change. Nothing's going to change. I, I, oh, I hate to say it. making off the Lakers, bro. There's no reason for her to sell anything. No, nah, because if she gets enough backlash, I think she would. She cares too much about her public image, in my opinion. So I think get, if you just don't say anything, go, go at her. Go tweet her right now. <laughs> Those, she'll do things to get people like the public image away from her. She'll hire like a basketball operations guy or just fire like whatever she got to do though. You bring magic back. I don't care, but the she, ownership won't change. People got to. Pre- I'm saying people got to pressure her to like do something, like sell the team, whatever it is. I don't know what it is, but I think she cares about her public image a lot. And if she sees that people are not going to put up with her shit. And I think there's a certain limit where it's like, okay, you fire the GM, you change the coach. It's still ass. Like, it clearly has to be you at this point. So she, her clock's running out. I'm not saying it's going to be next year or whatever, but, like, they're, they're in the next five years, if the Lakers aren't even somewhat relevant, it's going to have to be her, like, to sell the team. Get him out of here. Get him out of here. I could see it happening. I don't think Lakers fans will stand for it. If it's the Wizards, yeah, they don't give a fuck. <laughs> Lakers, it's, it's different. We, we talk about how it's a completely different situation with them. It is, but... Just keep putting walls and walls and walls ahead of her again. They're leaving. Oh, Genie. You just let the players hit. That's why they don't say shit. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Kuz, That's bro. Crazy. Kuz Mania. <laughs> That's how he got he got saved from those trade trade talks with AD. When the Pelic bro, I Did always wondered why I, I always wonder why Kuz. we kept Kuz. <laughs> yeah. Not Ingram or Alonzo, <laughs> man. That's why. Ah, uh, Genie, I see you. Yeah, whoa, fine. whoa, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, Kuz. I won't oh, trade you. You're my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> no, she dead. That's probably says some shit like that, bro. Like, Kuz, you're my favorite. Hot water, hot shower. Hot water. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> 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 All right, what else guy? Um, I got one more question. This is, we'll wrap this up. It's about to the time. You guys might have to think about this. What was the best team to yes. never win a championship? NBA history? NBA history. What was the best team to never win a championship? Oh, that like got together and like didn't win, didn't succeed, right? Oh, this team. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They won, though. They won like six of them. That's the point. Is he saying, he's, saying, he's, he's being sarcastic. I'm talking about like one year he didn't win or something. Oh, my God. He didn't get the 12th one. <laughs> Honestly. 2016 Warriors. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. The seventy-three and nine, and you get and you get KD three-one lead. Yeah, it's, 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 that's a good one. Honestly, I want to pick, pick another one. Those Rockets, because they probably would have beat the Raptors. Yeah, oh, the, yeah, the, 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 the Rockets, Rockets the Rockets that that uh, Chris, Chris Paul, Paul James Paul, Harden, the, that Chris Paul got injured. Mm-hmm. They for sure beat, win mysteries. the finals if they beat the Warriors. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think I want to pick another team. Maybe the. Uh, the 2004 Lakers against oh, no. the, the, the Miami Pistons. LeBron, the LeBron that the, the Dirk beat. Dirk, yeah. That team that that year that didn't win, that was pretty bad on, on the Heat because so. Bron Bron was not playing good, but Dirk Dirk came up yeah. big. That's what, that's why I want to say that though. This new statue, it's pretty fire. Yeah, it's, it's pretty fire. Did you see what someone said? It's like a it's something fire. fade away. God, what did it say? It was a cool thing. Uh, loyalty never fades away, and he's doing the fade away. That was yeah. cool. That was cool. You got that one legged fade away unlock. Only they help you. Literally, that's just one of the most unblockable shots because he shoots. It up here too. His leg is like up in front of you too, so it's like you can foul. I love, I love that shot. I do not have the runs to be. 
Please don't. Yeah. <laughs> if you were seven one, I'd be like, go hey, for you it. You think bro. Uh, but, Damian uh, Lillard's gonna get a statue too if he retires on the Trailblazers? He has the most points no. now. He just mm, got the most points no, in the no, franchise. He doesn't win a chip though. He doesn't win a chip. Uh, he doesn't win a chip. I think it depends. <laughs> if he goes out, whack, though, if he goes out on like a high note, like he, at least like he, they're getting the playoffs, they have chances. Western I think Conference Final. One. I think if he goes out sad, like they're missing playoffs, and he's like fading away, I don't think so. But I, I don't know. That's kind of sad, though, because he's giving him blood, sweat, and tears to that organization. He's done everything he can for them. Still doesn't win, and they won't honor him with a... He's that shoe's blood, tough. He's, he's best blazer, blazer His number's retired, time, though. Zero statue, will never yeah. be worn by another blazer. But I don't know about statue. Yeah, jersey for sure. Statue, you got I don't know about statue. Shit, yeah, statue's a little too much. You like got to do it for your city. Even though you're like, you got to do it. He's the best blazer ever, and I don't know okay. how many other okay. blazers... Did, does Drexler have a statue or no? He's not Damian Lillard, though. But he, he was their best player until Lillard, right? Are we, the Lillard's on, like, another... The Lillard like existed, bro. Drexler was their player, the franchise yeah. guy. He doesn't have a statue. Uh, well, I have to look that up. Actually, I don't know. I'm just speaking out of my ass. I mean, you think they'd give no, Jokic a statue if he never wins a championship? Yeah, yeah, I think they would. he's the best Nugget of all time Got now. Two, two MVPs also. Is there some guy named like English or something? Yeah, I think they would have gave Alex Dirk English. A, they would have gave Dirk not the best Nugget the championship either. <laughs> Until Jokic, Carmelo Anthony. I think they would have gave Dirk a, a statue not, of the championship. Anthony. Huh? I think they would have gave Dirk a statue of the championship. I guess Iverson. So they're gonna build a Luca statue too. <laughs> He doesn't uh, win. We, we, Luke has only played for a few years, though. Oh, they don't have a statue. On, stays on the team. Lazers do not have a statue, so no one. So even the, before Lillard, their best guy back in the what is it? What 80s NBA player shit? though has a statue that hasn't won a championship? I don't think. Like that exists. I don't think they do that yeah, for the guys who don't win. Chick Hearn has a statue on the same team and play at the same level as like Lillard though. Bradley Beal, but no. <laughs> that stayed that stayed if loyal. They give that guy a statue. Uh, like that. <laughs> <laughs> the they're their, their, their whole bank account. Yeah, I'm thinking Drexler did it. They're not going to get the capital. Yeah, I put it right in the White House on another level than Clyde Put it in front of the Abe Lincoln one say, fuck that shit. Bradley Beal. Lillard's not a top 30 player of all time. Drexler's like the top 30. Like Gold Pyramid? He's a top 75 player. Okay, but Drexler's like top 30. I think Drexler's like top 30, 35. I think Drexler's like top 30, 35. I think he's top 30. Once you go down the list, he comes up. NBA player of all time? Yeah, top 35. Why? What has he done? He just doesn't want, but he's there. Why are you? You giving him some well, like, smoke today? I would take oh, Tatum my, over. Yo, yo, Clyde I'm Drexler. thinking of someone else. I'm thinking Malone. My bad. Oh, Carl oh, Malone. Okay, okay. 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 Like, no, no, no. Well, I'm thinking, Tatum's I'm better than Clyde Malone, Drexler. But, yeah. Yeah. Moses Malone? He's top 30. 35. Yeah, he won a few MVPs. But, That's but a little not, different. Not, That's not, better, not Drexler. Drexler. Sorry. I still not don't Drexler. think he's top 30, bro. Like, he's, who? Moses Malone? Oh, yeah. No, Moses Malone is top 30, 35. It's a little more arguable. Definitely not Clyde Drexler. I don't even know what this man did in his lifetime. Did he do anything? How many All Stars? 10 All Stars? It's pretty good. 22 or 22. What's, uh, 10 all star appearances. Yeah, top 75th, 10 all stars, times. 5 all NBA. Yeah, but Drexler played for the Rockets and shit. NBA like, he didn't champ. just yeah, play he didn't for play the, He's a champ. He, I think he won with uh, Hakeem. Did he not? He's a champ. That season was 20. 95. Points. Yes, Hakeem. He won with Hakeem Olajuwon. Hey, he didn't win a championship for the fucking... 20 over a lot of times. 27 was the highest. 27, 27. That's good. I mean, he was a good player, but yeah. he's not He's not top 30 player of he's all time. He's not better than. Uh, Moses is top 18. Moses Malone. Moses Malone. Yeah, right? he won two MVPs. That's what I, was, I, I was thinking of Moses Malone. Uh, he Jackson, top 30. Well, Jackson's a good player, though. Come on. I don't want to say where he was on the uh, top. 20 points, 6 top rebounds, 47. Search, search up Clyde. Like, uh, control Clyde off Drexler. Clyde. Is that he's even on here? What he's is his top player. how many? Let me not disrespect him. I feel like, I feel like he should. I just don't think he's as good as Damian I Lillard. Think. I think he's better. 43. You think okay. Clyde Drexler's better? Where was he at? 43. In what? What is this for? List? Like top? Yeah, top. I came out. Yeah, see, I was saying 30, 35 for Drexler. Not too far off. Alone. Yeah, my, so you think Clyde Drexler's? 20, but huh? You think Clyde Drexler? Hell no! They put Kawhi this high. It's crazy. Well, he, she, he's two finals, two finals MVPs. I don't care, yeah. Dude. What do you mean? Ow, it's ow, too much care. career when he's left. He's OP. Too much career left. He they put him at thirty, bro. All when he's time? Up, I think he's on the the bottom of the. I'd say he's up there. Thirty. Yeah. yeah. Have know. you seen? Have you guys seen uh, Jimmy Hyrule's goat yeah. pyramid? It's too, Huh? No, I haven't. So there's like a pyramid of like the goats, right? And he and a lot of people like favored like Kawhi being in the bottom like row thirty, like top thirty, like the bottom row there. And Kawhi fits that role. He's he's closer to fifty to me. But 30. he has two finals MVPs and two chips yeah, in so different I, teams. I'm not crazy. He's not closer to seventy five. So like, when he's healthy, like this man's high. like amazing. Yeah. The thing is, like, to, it, it's a little premature. It's the same thing with putting AD on here. It's like it's won. premature. Like four real seasons. I don't think AD's top AD's thirty yet. Like winning season. AD's not top. I think Kawhi's top 30, 35. I'm saying they're both on the top seventy-five list. Yeah, 75. I think it's premature for both of them. I'm trying to put like the top no, but, half of I mean, top Kawhi's seventy-five. Like, has one game. Like he's a winning player. Yeah. AD has one winning season with Braun. Yeah. That's why I'm not giving AD the no, credit. I'm sure they had winning seasons on the Pelicans. They made the playoffs a couple times. But he didn't win with that team. Yeah, first rounded too. Yeah. 
I'm giving Kawhi. Like I'm giving Kawhi way more like like, like, like clout in this what? in this argument. I think the highest was like a six seed for the. the thing, I, I think Kawhi. Like I'll give you the Raptors one 100, percent but it's like again with the Spurs. He shows up when he. He, he was a good player team. for them, but he was not the... Like, what about Spurs one up one. until the Warriors got injured? He was, he was cooking the we'll Warriors. We'll never know. We'll yeah, never I know. know. I know. We'll I know. I guess know. we'll <laughs> never know. We'll never know. That was winning by 30 that game, too. bro. That would have been a good... If he had Damn. won the championship that year, I would elevate him much, much higher. That's a game one. I still thought they would have lost, but... Uh, when Kawhi went crazy. Up by 30 that no, first they were game. up by, they like, yeah. yeah. They won one game one, but the yeah. series, I think they would have lost. They would have stole one in, uh, in the Warriors, though. That's so it big against them. It would have been different. The series would have been different. It would have been different, but the Warriors are the best road team. Recently. You don't know, man. You don't know. Yeah, we don't know. We're that, that's what butterfly effect the NBA. I just have a lot of respect for Kawhi. I know he doesn't play as much as ev everybody else, but oh, when he, this man's played. I mean, he's amazing when he plays. He's him. It was egregious after he won that tip, dude. Uh, that's the NBA, he was though, man. He's the best in the world. He better than he was top three. He's, top he's three. the best two-way player, like, damn near all time he when he's healthy. Yeah, but uh, no, like, but like, he shows like, up oh, when it matters but most. People were just like, oh, like, he beat the Warriors. I'm like, nigga, come on. He was average. He was nah, averaging, I don't like, think that Warriors, was unwarranted. Like, I think it was just too early because, like, the very next year, he's already dealing with, like, load management again. And he did that with the Raptors. But the Raptors, it, it was like he still played, I don't know, 60 games or whatever. Like, that's what you could do. I don't even know if he hit 60 that year. Check how much he played with the Raptors. Just check how much he played with the Raptors. Go down, go down. No, this is playoff log. Oh, playoffs. Playoffs. Honestly, we the just type in it, no, just normal quiet uh, basketball reference. How many games he played with the Raptors? Because I think he did take load management, but it was like okay, back, back to years. backs. I don't think he took off that many games. That's, I think Andrew Wiggins is more Toronto games than him. Games played sixty. Sixty yeah, exactly. See? That's good. Yeah. Sixty so. in Toronto. That's like eighty percent. And I, I, yeah, that's that last. But time. that's good enough. Like if you yeah. can play sixty well, with the games, Clippers, you play fifty-seven, fifty-two. Yeah, a little bit around the same. I'll give that the same ratio. Yeah. So oh, it's load management still, and then and then recently mm. the that stuff. Yeah, yeah, it's kind of bad. We're, we're now recognizing it's 60 games off now, as, yeah, as yeah. good in the NBA when they have eighty two an eighty two game season. Like and you're so not sad. really hurt, yeah. bro. They have to do something. They have to like yeah. decrease the season to like gotta, seventy games or something. Like NBA regular season trophy now that'll help. I'll <laughs> <laughs> <That'll> change everything. <laughs> so we now. got it. <laughs> they gotta <laughs> play. <laughs> they have to play now. Yeah, what solution? <laughs> Plus. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I think it's going to keep declining good. until they should definitely have a, a like a. I don't know if they do, but they have to have like a games limit to qualify for like all the awards or something. Like you can't be, you can't play all less NBA than certain amount of games. Yeah, because it's just fucked up. Like yeah. some guys will barely make the cut. Like they'll That's play true. forty-one, or you have to play. I think like. 60% of the season yeah. or something right yeah. now. But it's like, they'll barely make the cut, and I, that needs to be elevated. Like, yeah. you have to play, NBA, like, 80% right. of the season. The thing I don't understand is, like... Yeah, I would, yeah, I would say you have to play at least 60, because that's, like, 75%. I would yeah. put... That, that's yeah. a good idea, like, putting it in the rules Like, dudes will NBA, play... Because then they'll really, like... Because they want to get that yeah. all-NBA. They want to get that max money, max contract money. Yeah. Like, then they're yeah, really going to be incentivized to fucking... Yeah. You, want, you, all, you always want to be recognized for your... regular season trophy. You always want to be recognized for your talent, too. But the thing I don't understand is, like... Players back in the day would play more games and have worse technology than players do now, and not get injured. Yeah, I mean, I mean, they just play. They play through the injury, yeah. but some I'm guys play like reckless. Some guys play reckless, so that's why they end up getting hurt. Like some Derrick Rose type, just yeah. not even yeah, caring. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. These days, like niggas, also like too much load management for me. Like it's not even. It's not even for like bets or anything or fantasy. Like the fans, the fans can't even like, like enjoy watching a game. People come from Australia and try to watch games yeah. and stuff. You guys are just sitting down, you know. It has to be better too, because yeah. some teams it's like, dude, like six six players from one team will sit out. Like the yeah, Heat, the that's bad. All year. Dude, the Heat, that's bad. The Heat will have like Nikola Jovic at center, really like Kyle Russell Lowry. Like if Bam, Jimmy, and Hero were sitting out, why are you even going to watch? A Jimmy heat plays game? like every other game, dude. Like I, he's I waiting for to turn it up in the playoffs. Maybe maybe he's, he's bro got that hurt. Chihuahua in him. Like yeah. <laughs> maybe he's actually, but he does this like every regular season. This one's been pretty bad so so far, but. Maybe he's actually here. Who knows, man? And they suck. I mean, yeah. like, okay, if you guys want to be terrible, you can not play every <laughs> game. Go ahead, bro. Like, sneak into the play-in and... And then go crazy. Hope Jimmy does what he, Jimmy does. Yeah, I think a lot of that... Um, I think we are saying this last year, especially for the Nets. Like, oh, they get in the playoffs. They might figure it out. I don't believe in that shit anymore. Like, it's just hard to think of a team that's a 10th seed the whole year just randomly yeah. turns it up in yeah. the playoffs. Yeah. Good, though. Isn't it, it weird? Like that. It doesn't work like that. I don't think so. I don't think it's that drastic. Maybe they could figure out to the point of winning a round, but not to the point of, like, making the finals. Didn't the Heat in the bubble beat the Bucks? Yeah, but they were a good team then. They were like yeah. a four seed or something. Who, who do they have that they, they don't have, have anymore? Playing. They actually had some continuity with their team. Dude, the bubble was the last time. Like, dude, I, everybody played just because they had no other option. They couldn't they go to the strip club. Uh -huh. Yeah. I think like... They had eight games before the fucking playoffs. Like, yeah. yeah. I think 
regular season basketball is going to be like hard to watch over the years and you only want to watch playoff games because they'll play playoff games but i'll still maybe, watch the games. maybe they need like a mid-season break or something like instead They're of like a tournament vacation no no instead, like a two-week instead vacation? of the all-star break like have the all-stars like be like pro bowl where it's like at the end of the year and just that two weeks just have it be rest for everyone yeah. to get healthy and so that way maybe less games in the season too, yeah or help. something like that like there's just got to be a, a change made because it's, it's ridiculous yeah it's getting bad it's not even games. fun to watch the NBA on a daily. Like That's what I'm saying. the Lakers, when they didn't have LeBron AD, if you're watching that game, you're you're a psychopath. Like <laughs> you're not you're even a diehard fan. You're, you're just Lakers crazy. Fan. You just wa want to no, watch the Lakers your, get blown out by forty. You're not even a diehard fan. You're yeah, just like, like crazy. You're just submitting yourself to torture. It's only bad. Like, you're watching to watch teams, the other team play. <laughs> there's some teams where it's like, okay, they're not good, but it's like they have promising players. You look at the might be a little exciting. Like some some players might be exciting. Yeah, like the Hornets. Like you want to see what like these guys can do. Dude, the Lakers. There's nobody without LeBron AD that you can even say this guy's nobody. General Reeves watching Reeves do white boy stuff on the court. Lonnie Walker. I like I like Schroeder too. No, I listen, that post-Kobe, pre-LeBron era was like crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, that was really mean. bad. Yeah, no, Post-Kobe, pre-LeBron era was horrible. No, that, that shit that was, was kind of good. fun, bro. Yeah, that they was were so good. bad. No, games. no, it was fun to watch, it though. It was bro, I bad remember shit, players. but it was fun to watch. D-Lo, Julius, yeah, yeah. B.I., Lonzo. Julius got hurt, like, the first game. I remember Julius Randle got hurt. You want to see the players, like, the players that you drafted play well. I guess, bro. When yeah. started, I mean, I was watching Ingram shit. play. Yeah, I was hype. Veins, like, yeah. At least it's fun. JC, Lou Will. I would see people at the YMCA man, like doing like ice in my veins yeah. after they made a shot and walk out the gym. I still do that shit. <laughs> that shit in the we had Lou Williams game. being our best <laughs> points per game scorer, twenty three off the bench. That was fun, <laughs> actually. Yeah. Remember Kendall Marshall? We thought he was about to it's be always point guard future. Yeah, it's always fun to watch players that draft like what they can become. Also, my Jazz niggas calling me D. Uh, also, yeah, 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 when you're a team like that, you got no expectations. So whenever a player like turns up, it's like exciting. Yeah. But when you have LeBron and shit, and you're playing ass, it's like Our even old, if a player turns players, up, we already not... know who these players are. Like yeah. Schroeder, Beverly. Like I already know what they're gonna. So when do. these guys sit out, it's like okay, we're, they're just waiting for their star players to come back. It's like there's no hope or like excitement to be had in the future. Got to wait for the playoffs, man. Let's see the go back. Thirty. All right. It's to wrap it up, all right. Three others. You got Hours, any? Y'all don't got nothing. I was gonna do like a shooting. Which one did I show you today? Was the shooting guard? Would you rather? I want to do. You a can do one. Shooting. What do you think about Zion or John Morant? I seen that too. I seen that too. Um, all that. I, I just I'm on top the top of the dome. Oh, I know. I saw. I saw. So I saw Zion versus another point guard. It might have been Jar. It was Jar. It was Jar. Mitchell. No, it was. Oh. I think it was Jar actually. What is Give this, me like, Zion. Choosing Zion one person to start a franchise. What is this? Give me Zion. I will take Zion. Is it to start a franchise? Yeah. Even who's better too? Who would you rather have? For any reason. Frank House. Uh, you have to take that into account too. I'm yeah. still taking Zion me too. So you're just. Uh, I think I'll be the. I'll pick Jaw. And I think I think I think Zion missing a year is really bad. A little bit more than that. I think Jaws Jaw does a little bit more. Like versatility than what Zion has. Sure, Zion's dominance, you're gonna tell me in the paint, the high field goal percentage in the paint. But Jaw has like a little bit less than that, and he's doing other things. Like he's shooting, he's playmaking like crazy. I and he's and it's, hard, wise, it's harder to skill find a player. Wise, skill wise, John Moran's better. Uh, skill. Think, not oh, just not like, just running and, and doing layups and contact oh, that's what layups. I'm talking about. Like Giannis, I'm not gonna say Giannis. I know, I know you're I know wise, but Giannis, to me, Giannis is OP, but it's it's hard to find a player like Zion than it is to find a player like Jaw. I'm not saying Jaw's not special, but it's like there's guys like Garland who do just a good enough job running offense. Even I like I don't want to say Conley, but like when Mike Conley was his prime, he was a good enough point guard. He takes care of the basketball, nice. gets people involved. Yeah, Whole Mike Conley's good. Nice. Nice. But it's like the shit Zion does. Like you, it's very hard to find a power forward six six built Ever. like that that can jump that high. Yeah, that's why I say I'd rather have Zion. Not that Jaws like worse than him or anything, yeah. but I just rather have Zion. It's for harder that to find. Harder to plug in someone like Zion than it is to plug in someone like Jaw onto an offense. I think if you, if you plug Jaw anywhere, he's going to help you out. He's a, he's a point guard. He's a playmaker. Of course you are. He's obviously he's elite. He's an athletic but playmaker who, yeah, but who can shoot outside. We've seen with Tyus Jones, like, like they can still Rubio. win games yeah. with Tyus yeah. Jones yeah. as opposed exactly. to Jaw. That team is just sta like Ricky stacked. Rubio, get a playmaker, but if you take away Zion from the Pelicans, it's just GG's, bro. Like, they won't be able to do I don't think it's that. They're still a good team. They're a good team, too. No, it's not about that. It's not about that. They're not as good as Memphis, though. You're saying so you're saying Memphis without Jaw compared to Zion, uh, with, Orleans without yeah, Zion. Yeah, I don't agree with they that. They have Ingram. They, they have All Star caliber. I, I don't agree with what he said. I, I, I say like they're not as good as they are. Right? Uh, well, obviously they're not with Zion, but they're still like what? But what Ingram, they are last year. Ingram and CJ are better than like Bain and Jaron Jackson individually. 
I'm talking about team makeup, though. No, it's just harder to find, like, the, the skills I provide, shooting high percentage at the rim, like, yeah, I get that. I getting get that. into the paint. I agree. Like, it's harder to do that from the power forward position than for, for Jaw to do what he does. To go jump in there I'm and, not, and draw I'm not, contact. I'm not saying Jaw's not special yeah. in what he does, but it's just, like, a lot harder to replicate the production for off what Zion does just because he's so like different like he's such yeah. a different I think it's player. easier to play how many how, ma- how many fouls do you think Zion draws and draw who do you think draws more as well draw draws more draw fouls, draws right? more right I was gonna say that too. even though like Zion flop should thing, yeah. Zion probably flop? should get called like a flop more. type of thing Zion should get more calls because of how big it's he not is a flop yeah it's not a flop you see Jaw ja gets like whacked effect. every time he gets up do you see it yeah LeBron doesn't get the LeBron it's LeBron effect like how big he is I'm saying Jaw doesn't get whacked we can pull up so many times I'm not saying he doesn't get whacked I think Zion should get more calls the other day I saw I saw Jaw take it up on on Giannis Giannis literally elbowed him really hard he literally moved back from air made the layup and the and he's like ref come on he's like laughs it was like bad it's it the thing is, like with those, that's called, that's I just think Zion should get more with calls. those small point yeah. guards. It's no, like the Zion smallest should. contact looks worse, mm-hmm. so that's why they call him. At Zion, he's so big, he's that, so big like, he didn't move. <laughs> like someone will tackle him, and he, it looked like he barely moved. Yeah. So it's just it looks it's the I way agree. it looks. Is the and the refs won't call it. But you also, it's uh, their health. Also, it's Zion's health. He has not played half his career, as well as Jaws been in the playoffs like his whole career. He's been almost pretty healthy this year. Games now or something like. I think he came into shape this year. He's gonna he's gonna come different. As long as he's staying hey, in Zion, Zion's haven't even tasted playoffs hey, yet. For Jaw, though, Jaw's been in the playoffs. For Jaw, though? Every year almost. Two years. Uh, back to back. Like, he, he gets hurt, too. He just recovers hella fast from that. But he he, really he, he, be, he be spraying hey, his ankle. He missed, like, 20 games. Time. I remember. He missed, like, 22 games. I remember that. No, nah, he, he sprained his ankle this year and came back a game later. <laughs> so, like, but he does get hurt, like, <laughs> super soldier. in terms of amount of injuries, it's probably equal. Just really Zion's like is a me. little more complicated. I mean, for a big man. I hurt my hammy yesterday. Back in the back in the lab. Back in the lab. You beat Zion in the three-point contest? No. Okay, good. <laughs> I think I'm beating him. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Yeah. I think I'm sure yeah, when we're in his like rookie year, we came out here like four threes in that yeah, one game. The they was, game like, oh, my oh God. that was that was he insane. He hasn't oh made God. close to that many threes since then. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like it's just crazy. They were so they, they were so ready for him. Madison in the first half. Time, like, yeah. Better than LeBron. Better than LeBron. Like ben Simmons yeah, like, over the summer when he's making threes. Like LeBron, but he can shoot. Imagine if Ben Simmons first game with the Nets hit like four threes like Zion. Oh my God. Ladies and gentlemen, let's go home. They would have been like out the building when Ben Simmons hit those threes. If I was Ben Simmons, I. Oh, that man. If I'm Ben Simmons, <laughs> if I'm Ben Simmons, one game I'm making, like I'm gonna try to make multiple threes and stop shooting for a C. Just, just to show people that like I can do it. I just it's don't. Crazy, do it. still doesn't even attempt them. That's just insane. Well, I'd bet on the over if he did that. Sweet. I don't think just a weird <laughs> over point five. Are you betting on Ben Simmons? At that point, at that point, if you're like an NBA player and you just like don't. Like, I've seen Brooke Lopez changes. Like, like, how can though, you like, yeah. not like, just take him, That's bro? True. Yeah. Your coach is not going to bench you, <laughs> you, especially you, knowing your track record and stuff, for taking like two threes a game. And no one's like, telling you to take four teams. He should take five. Like, he should take five, oh, should take so five a game. Like, your, your game will just be more versatile. Like, why? What's, I don't get why. Even Draymond attempts them sometimes and makes them like. Bro, like, no one said, like, yeah. And he has Stephen Curry on the He shoots like two or three a game. That's good enough. That's all you got to do. Just like, if someone's leaving you so fucking open, just shoot it. And no one's asking you, never know, you to but it's 50-50. off the yeah. dribble. <laughs> it goes in or hey, misses. What are you going to do? What's going to happen? Max. You see the summer if summer league highlights from Ben Simmons? He was taking middies. Like, what yeah. the fuck happened? Running him? middies is like fading away. Unbelievable. He just forgot know. he was 6'10 and athletic. The I saw Chris, a meme. The Chris <laughs> Rickleys. Yeah. Thing was going crazy. Yeah. <laughs> oh, but yeah, everyone gets stacked bricked up in a league. Oh, oh, Simmons is different. Everybody bro. stats go up in the Chris Bigley runs. Yeah. Everyone's stats just go crazy. Yeah, you, you, you have uh, um, what's his name? Harry? And his freedom just going crazy in there. Oh, stop. J Cole too. You see J Cole going crazy. But oh, J Cole's a hooper though. Yeah, no, <laughs> he played in the there, what, African league. Which one did he play? Yeah, I think in Africa. He did. Chris Brickley. He sends a Canadian team too, something like that. Shout out Chris Brickley. I dropped ten threes on. There you go. That's a little one. Would you rather for the day? Oh yeah. I was. Let me say one at least. Let me say three. Cause this one's quick. This one's just really off the. Off, you guys. No, because we're gonna talk about it for math. No, I'll yeah. just say I'm wrapping nah, it up. Nah. We're wrapping it up for okay, this okay. one. Okay, okay, I'm not gonna do it. All right, we save it for next. Week. We got it for. We got a lot of content. A lot of James Wiseman content <laughs> to, to sift through. Good, good Anyways, conversation. Though, we didn't. It is both sides. I think it was pretty good. It's pretty good. I think it's a good argument to have. I hope you learned a thing. Or two Let about us know that. in the comment yeah. section if you're watching this hope what you, you think about the James Wiseman situation. Let me know if he's a bust, please. He's not. Do you need? Does he need more games? Does he need more games, or you think he? He, he should. He's uh, a new team. He needs to be <laughs> traded. Yeah. At Berserk Basketball, tag him. This guy. You, you'll see it like six of his burners in the comments. <laughs> so reply to any one of them. Anyways, <laughs> not me. That's not me. Yeah, don't allegations. Those engagement. are allegations. That's not me. <laughs> tag Bebo Central on everyone. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, thank you guys for watching Ball Don't Lie. We'll see you on the next one. Hopefully, Isaac's here. We can't make promises. Though. Oh my God, I forgot Isaac was. <laughs> That's crazy. He'll be here.